Jim it is claim that that person found it on IMDb that wasn't created until after that stream. Yeah, the IMDb didn't wasn't it didn't have all this stuff until after that stream. And you're sure on the timestamps on that? All right, uh, on the IMDb. No, I mean on the uh, when you compare his stream and that uh, popping oh, up on uh, Google. Yeah. To yeah, uh, yeah. the IMDb creation. Yeah, because yeah, he's of course he's like completely screen sharing, so his uh the time pops up on his computer a lot. Oh, it's got the time and the date and everything? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, you guys sound good to go, then. I, I, like, I, I don't watch Destiny, so I don't know Same like, yeah, what, I don't what his shit is or when he streams or what his usual someone, habits are. Someone linked this to us with a timestamp, and I'm just like, thank you for the timestamp. Oh, yeah. I'm not I watching just, a whole day. All right. I know this sounds like a pain in the ass, but I don't, I don't do internet. So I wanted to... Like I wanted her to show you the little video thing and make sure that it ducks in it, like everything looks right because yeah, I mean the only thing me. I'd recommend to you guys is people are gonna be straight up fucking with you. They're gonna feed you mm-hmm. false information just to watch you react and then uh, mm-hmm. laugh about it. So if people are like saying, "Oh, I've got these docs I'm gonna send to you," or "I've got this shit I'm gonna send to you," you 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 can never really confirm it. You know what I mean? Because it could mm-hmm. just be somebody fucking with you. Well, all right. Uh, the thing with my grandmother's picture, somebody said that that was up on uh, his subreddit for like. 20 minutes and they grabbed a screen grab but you told me the other day like you, you don't trust screen grabs no because anybody can alter exactly. it and i mean the the thing too to like be aware of is if you start getting like random fucking people you've never talked to before i don't talk back to them no no i mean but if you get random people you've never talked to before start sending you shit that, that's usually a really good indicator that you're being fucked with yeah that uh-huh. that i picked up on I, I i don't talk back with them uh, if they post like you know names and shit that can be linked and stuff to my profile, I'll just block them. Uh, I'll yeah, unblock yeah, them once the, all this is done. The feeling I get from it, like from watching the shit unfold, is uh, it, the, I, I think it's like uh, Pascal and his little group, mm-hmm. and um, I think they're probably the ones that sent it to Destiny. Like, hey, look what we uncovered, kind of shit. Yeah, Zeph sent um, it to Pascal. Pascal couldn't sit on it. He couldn't handle sitting up. The timeline for this is too perfect. From Zeph starting to talk all that shit about my stepfather. You know, the stuff that's a very, like, he's talking about my stepfather. He's talking about wrestling storylines that were on this pro wrestling Facebook that I used to have, that he that he had found. Like, okay. I know where all his stuff came from. He thinks I have a glass eye because someone threw a fireball at me and I'm wrestling. <laughs> like, this is how I know where his information came from. They only have one of my wrestling names. They only have those pictures. Like, I was a masked wrestler through Texas and shit for years and years. Here, they- here's, here's what I don't get. Like, but, um, and this is what I'm kind of, I guess I'm curious about. Like, if they only have, like, one of your wrestling pseudonyms and shit, like one of the names you use when you're doing that, mm-hmm. um, how are they finding pictures of your relatives? All because right. the, the wrestling name connects to. On the, no, I'll, I'll tell you how. On the Facebook okay. profile, I can tell, I'll tell you just. It's weird. I trust Jim. I didn't ever. I never thought I'd even have conversations with you. It's weird. Um, it's weird. <laughs> the thing with uh, finding my uh, grandparents, there's a lot of pictures on this wrestling Facebook profile from right before my grandfather passed away, where like they would come to wrestling events. Okay. And you know, there's a bunch of pictures of me like hugging all my grandparents and stuff while they're at the events and shit like that. Because oh, so that's that's how they connected it. Yeah. Yeah. He's in ridiculously oh. bad health. He's in ridiculously bad health in those pictures. But right now, she's in shit health. Like, she's going to be dead within a year. So, are, are the pictures that are uh, like showing you with your grandparents and shit, coming to shows or whatever, Yeah. Um, does that link to their Facebook? Or to her Facebook? Or add to anything that would identify her? Because like if they figure out... My grandparents, I don't think, have Facebook. I think my grandmother may have had one forever ago, but she doesn't know how to Facebook. So, I don't think it's linked I, to I me or anything. I can tell you, your Facebook would link to your mom's. Oh, glorious. Well, yeah. they, all right, here's the other thing. Your mom's stuff Zeph has been found scrubbed off thing. the websites. Yeah, Zeph found this fucking Facebook, and then he flagged it down. So, that there's, like, I can't go back into it and see, like, I can't get into that Facebook account. Mm-hmm. Oh, I got gotcha. you. All right, yeah, because I was going to say, if they if they find a relative of yours, then they're going to know what your name is. It's not going to be a wrestling pseudonym. This was all weird and calculated. Like, you can go, I don't know if you were listening to the Kumite uh, the morning it happened, but I'm just like, somebody sent me something that was a Facebook video, and I clicked it, I was like, I can't go. I can't see the video. I have no Facebook. What the fuck? That was, the deep that was when that went. That uh, happened. Jim, Dave, well, all right, Tonk, you, you want to talk about the person you were talking to yesterday? Which one? Okay. Yeah, oh. you can tell Jim. I don't care. They they, they, they started trying to contact uh, his uh, once fiance or whatever. <laughs> 
Yeah, I, I, and they've been doing I mean, that it for a while. Like, it, it sounds like what they're doing is just but, but it's uh, been for a while. trying to get a rile out of oh. trying to fuck yeah. with. Well, I mean, it's like standard life ruination shit. I mean, they're they're going to track down relatives and fiancés, girlfriends, neighbors, places you've worked. Uh, they'll probably start sending you shit. Uh, like, I don't know. It, it's If I were you, what I would do, you know, um, is I would call up whatever local restaurants are near you, like the, the fucking pizza joints and shit that deliver, yeah. and just be like, hey, man. You know, uh, there's some funny shit going on. People are fucking with me. Uh, so unless you get a call from this specific number, don't deliver anything. Well, here's all right. Here's the thing with my addresses. Link to that. Like this Facebook profile was old. Like it's from back when I was doing that specific stage name. This is years ago. So I don't live anywhere near what those would be linked to. Oh no, I'm just telling you, like for a heads up. I mean, this is. Oh what yeah, I'm, yeah. I like, still, I still call law enforcement. Jim, make sure Jim, you want to know, you know yeah, yeah, how. Stuff. how little connected Tonka was to, to his wrestling life. A well, woman, I, I'm going to guess. A, wait, 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 wait. A, a, woman he used, a, a woman he used to fuck that ended up getting with a tag team partner he used to wrestle with who both of them fucking actually were fans of Tonka's Grapple Vision channel, which was a, a wrestling channel. Yeah, after I left uh, her, she got with uh, this other fucking wrestler. They're, they're sad sex. But they ended up being fans of my wrestling channel. That isn't... Uh, they isn't comment all the his, time. Talking about how much of a genius I am. Yeah, his wrestling channel isn't linked with his wrestling... Like, it, it's a channel that's different from his wrestling persona also. So it wasn't even linked to his... Uh, wrestling career. It was just something he started because his stepfather was going to cancer, and he was like, "I need something to distract me." So, oh I yeah, I, I do the uh, the two step shit too on any social media accounts you got, because uh, more than likely they're gonna try to start probably hacking into your shit. Mm -hmm. uh, and I delete any old stuff that you're not using anymore, shit that you might have forgot about, like old PayPal's or fucking old Facebooks or well, just I, any I kind of shit. I didn't even start fucking with the internet until a couple couple of years ago. <laughs> but, but Jim. So, so Ch Chicky, Chicky is a fucking Ch uh, dude that used to fucking wrestle him. They they know his voice. Didn't know it was him. So probably still don't know it was him. Yeah, it, it's weird, man. You've been getting uh, gangbanged by everybody. I, I was trying to follow along with the Vadim thing, but it's weird timing that he'd jump in uh, the second that uh, this is all kind of kicking up. Oh yeah, the Vadim is Vadim just wants some views and he sees something that Vadim might be relevant. Vadim is not even anything personal. It's just Tonka was on a stream where he he just kept bullshitting people. It, it felt personal to me from what I was hearing. It sounded like he was mad that he got uh, he got shit on and was looking for a little payback. Yeah, I didn't mm. want to be Vadim's friend. He was in here trying to say that what they were doing in the crowd server. Nobody knows. Nobody knows. No, we knew because we were in there. And, and the Jeff Holiday apology shit was it. We knew. Mm. So I'm, I don't want to sit here and listen to Vadim fucking dance around it. Uh, and and another thing is like all right he 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 was like oh well I haven't seen any well here's information well this doesn't prove anything it, it's right there it, it's like little things like the screenshot of uh, Zef and and uh, JF from each of their sides of the email where Zef sends him the address and the telephone number he's like oh yeah well that that there's there's the evidence to show is is real it's here's the links to the actual tweets. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the other thing I'd suggest, too, uh, just from watching this kind of shit unfold before, uh, and I ain't telling you what to do, man. I mean, you know, you got to deal with the situation. I want to deal with it. But uh, the more you react to it, the more they're going to do it. Like, I get that you're pissed off, but the more you say, don't fuck with my family, don't fuck with my grandma, the more they're going to. You got to kind of detach yourself from it. I know it sounds fucked up, but you got to detach yourself from it because you're, you're going to feel that fucking fire and you're going to get all these little assholes that think, I can really fuck this guy up if I dig that, a little that's deeper. Why I, that's why I said I'm glad my fucking family's dead. <laughs> they can't fuck with that. <laughs> yeah, I know, man. I, I, it, it's just weird that Zeph would. Uh, I mean, if Zeph's the one that's like originating all this shit, it's weird that he would choose. Uh, why? Why is he choosing now to do it? That's what I don't get. He thinks it's been enough time. You made a different video. Maybe it took him this long to discover it. No, no he's I, I've heard no. this strategy. Uh, they've talked about like I remember what I uh, when I used to talk to. They talk about medic or video cycles. Like it's weird how much they put on you, man. <laughs> uh, but they they're like you know you never want to don't incur the wrath of poll and don't, you know you know the medic or video cycles. Once you get a new video, then everybody's forgot about the last one and you can move on. 
when? I still fucking find that hilarious. America, America. <laughs> Well, like, I, hold, on, hold on, just just so I I I hope you don't look at this like like I'm not I'm not asking you for help and stuff. Just I want you to if you see that we're wrong in any of this stuff, if it's like that doesn't look right, like that that's what I'm saying. Just let me know. I go with I, your gut, man. I mean, it, it, from what like uh, I, I've already told you what I think. Like from what I've seen, uh, I know that I, I I guarantee you Pascal's involved in it, and I know Pascal is related to Gething because he's on his open house, and Gething is in Zeph's new server. Oh. And I know Pascal is a big fan of Destiny. He tweets about that shit all the time. So Pascal said that he didn't get it off of IMDb. Did you know that? No, because yeah. I, I haven't I haven't paid attention. I, like he tweets a lot of shit, and yeah, usually I just get angry and make fun of his eyebrows after like two or three tweets. I, I asked him shit. if his eyebrows whispered to him. <laughs> Hold on, Vamp. Vamp, can you put that one over yeah, in the side chat? I gotta find the right where Pascal right fucks that up. This is while all this shit's <laughs> unfolding, so they don't have their story straight yet. They can't. They can't stop talking. Like in the same way, I can't because yeah, that shit does bother me. If something, yeah, I, make, I, I, make I, sure I don't you, uh, like, you come across anything, archive it before you oh, do yeah. anything. Before you talk yeah, about that's it, what I, that's what I told Van. Don't don't say shit. Just archive. It. That's why I didn't want to talk to Steve when he was in here. Yes, I was muting the fuck out of him. I don't want to. I don't want him saying my name. Any any more stuff they can be like. You don't want to risk it. I'm not gonna. Yeah, risk and if, it. if for some reason you can't archive it, uh, the second best thing would be like. Um, a direct screen capture, like if you can record your screen scrolling through and refreshing the page, because then it, it it proves that you're actually fucking on it, not like uh, editing HTML and shit. Um, I threw it over in the side. That's uh, that's Steve saying he doesn't care if it's a doc. So I'm talking about the one from Pascal. Oh, is that the one? Admits, one? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. The one from Pascal okay, where he admits so it. Tweets. Fuck Pascal. Pascal looks like a homeless guy now. There it is. <laughs> yeah, that's just Steve admitting what we all knew and that he's a piece of shit. Um, this he is the does. Right Have you seen that shitty beard that he tried to grow? Oh, what is this? It's publicly available info. Uh, if it's a doc, that's, so, that's the first one. Oh, yeah. okay. That's just Destiny admitting that even if it was a doc, he doesn't give a shit. The second one. That's where oh, Pascal okay. gave too much away. Zeph's been giving too much away this entire time. He cited stats from that cage match page. Yeah. Pascal's been uh, deleting Last tweets one. where he said that he got it from IMDB because he forgot that he said this. When he was called out on where he got it from. Okay, uh, this his, says tur hey, turns out his name's on fucking IMDb, so everyone can drop the act. This is from the twenty sixth. Mm -hmm. And he had said, if you remember, he was saying before it was like, oh, well, I got it from IMDb. That's that's the story he's going with now. Oh, everybody got this from IMDb. It's from IMDb. If you watch the first video he put out, unless it's been taken down, the motherfucker is explaining why it's okay that it's a docs, and he's not talking about IMDb. He said, no matter where they search it out of, they should search it out, and they should like he. They all back did, up. Did on. you contact IMDb, by the way? I'm fairly certain yeah. they pulled that down. Yeah, I tried. And they said, well, as long as the information is factual. And, and it's I'm, not even factual. In, That's like saying in my Darth complaint Vader email, played a character. I had stated that this is not factual information. This isn't even his name. <laughs> they blew my height up like an inch, too, which I, I kind know. of appreciate. That was very pro wrestling of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is fucking weird. I don't. I mean, because you're not you know, like the uh, Internet Movie Database. You know, you, I'm not sure why YouTubers would be on that. <laughs> so, right, there was a guy who put that up like a month ago to be funny, but he did not. He didn't put all that stuff in there. You can you can go back and look at like the old link. Like it doesn't. Yeah. It didn't have that stuff there. I have an IMDb. Malcolm from the North is Malcolm IMDb. from the North. Yeah, a bunch of us have IMDb's just for popping up either on Worski's channel or my channel or Tonga's channel. Oof. I guess I was sad is I've I've actually been on TV shows and shit, it. and I don't have IMDb for for my personal life. But meanwhile, I, I will say I will say this so that hopefully I get a little credit. I I may have played into the family thing because yeah, I I I can't I can't hide it. That's like the last person on the planet I care about, Jim. No bullshit. Mm -hmm. But uh, no, no, I, I I get it, I get it. I I'm just telling you. This yeah, is I big, I was fucking up on that. This is a basic way the internet acts. I mean, the more you uh, react to it, the more they're going to push for a reaction. The one that I'm not going to bite the bait on is, you know, oh, well, what's your your MMA, your MMA, because they know that's where the real name is. Mm -hmm. I'm not biting. Nope. It would be very easy to pray, but I'm not biting. They know that I'm like, I made him look dumb with the whole like, oh, look, it is. Well, yeah, I was a wrestler and I told everybody I was a welterweight, middleweight. I told everybody this forever ago. I think when someone asked if that was your real name, you said, no, it looks good on tights. Once that didn't bother me, 
that's that's when everybody started to see all this other shit start to pop up because I guess they thought I don't know like they look <clears throat> the Brock Lesnar gifts and it's like look he thinks he's Brock Lesnar no like I guess that that's the mode but like I, I don't know so what what's your plan on this uh, if they end up uncovering your name and shit and all your personal information uh, you gonna uh, lose come my back mind? under a, uh, under a new name or are you just gonna roll with it what what are you planning on doing. No, no, no. I'm, I can't hide. I ain't, I'm, I'm terrible at hiding. I'm terrible at not sacking up. I'm terrible at this stuff. You're terrible, I'm terrible at this shit. Successful. That's what I was, well, does, I guess successful. what I'm saying is, it, does, it, does it fuck you in real life? If suddenly everybody knows that Tonka saw the guy hosting the morning stream on fucking YouTube, does it do anything to you? No, no. I, I, own, I own all my businesses. Like, they're, they're mine. Like, it's not going to get my you know, employment or anything fucked up. The only thing is the grandmother. And it's like, it, like you said, it's like, I can't help but go, like, I, I keep fucking up and I'm going to, I am going to try to stop because you are right. And I told myself that before I got on tonight. Yeah, you got, you get, you get a little heated. I understand. It's a oh, reaction. Right. Why, why are there two vamp candies on the fucking call? Because one of them is going to smoke. <laughs> yeah, she's out. Oh, went to smoke and listen. I thought it was drunk. Yeah, pretty much. No, but, she's uh, a fucking addict. <laughs> uh, do, do I really look that different from my avatar? Like am you, I you, you, I, I, I've seen the pic. You know what you remind me of? What? Uh, you remind me of like a dude that you would see in like a metal band from the '90s. Like that's the vibe that's I got. Like I could picture you like the basis of like uh, Pantera or Metallica, that kind of <laughs> shit. Those fucking that's pants. What, that's what we all f fucking have said. Yeah. Yeah, that's what those those fucking pants. Like by the way, I pulled those pants up over my shirt. It was after a match, which by the way, where I had to pick this fat fuck up over my head and run him and throw him over a rope. <laughs> yeah, miserable. <laughs> Miserable. I'm gonna shit myself. <laughs> like I, we we've talked about Tonka's fucking like body and shit. I've 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 called him. You know, he has some fucking lanky arms and shit. Like, talk about you. You you're, you're fine, man. You don't have any fucking deform. Uh, you you. The only thing. What are they gonna give you shit about? Uh, oh, you, you're skinny looking dude in some of these pics. Okay. okay. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Would it be better if you were a giant fat fuck or That's three? That's what I asked. Hey. Hey. <laughs> or like a a small hey. pudgy troll. But no, like I, I don't know what the, what they they were aiming at. With it. It's mean, like you're a mean anti bully. Because I know I'm a mean only... anti bully, but they don't they don't have a vector for attack. It's not like he's some balding ninety year old. You know what I mean? Like he's not. I'm pretty. He's not a lot of fucking shit to screw with. I'm a pretty. Look, guy. you're 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 skinny and in shape. I, I wish I had more grizzly looks, but I can admit that I'm a pretty guy. I, I'm over it. I'm a pretty fella. I've, yeah, I've got pretty. the long hair and the fucking. Skin. I I got that, but. I, I don't get where like destiny is like I, I'm bigger than you. <laughs> okay. So weird. Like that's what he had. That's why he had to do it is because he wanted to. He wanted to act like he's bigger than someone or so. I don't know what he's doing. That's just so, that's what bothers him. Is that, I don't know. I think that's what bothered all these people. Like Vadim. I don't care who Vadim is. I don't want to talk to Vadim. I don't want to be Vadim's friend. I don't care about well, destiny. I mean, shit. I, I remember after the first time I debated Destiny and uh, had a few Twitter or Twitter interactions with him. Some of his fans got a little pissed off and tried looking me up. All they found were like old pictures of like fucking Haberman from a website I used to be. They they were convinced. They all <laughs> think that you are a. Yeah, they thought it was this, this like pudgy looking kind of Middle Eastern Mexican dude. You look like Vadim's big brother. <laughs> I, I think you're right. I I like the I like the do of me. And uh, I fucking go ahead, and make memes. I'll fucking put them in my folders and fucking use them. That's that's me. Yeah, right but here. see, they don't have any leverage. I mean, if, if you're already putting your image out there and your name out there and shit, they don't have any leverage. Yeah, over I'm, I'm I'm a big fucker though. Look at me trying to. Yeah, but you don't understand the psychology of what they're looking yeah. for. They're they're looking for people that don't have their names and their images out there. That's what they want to fuck with. Yeah, because then they have leverage. They have power in that situation. So there are only two things you can do. You either just go full fuck it, scorched earth, and here's who I am. I don't give a shit, or you uh, just fucking ignore it all, and it'll blow over in a, you know like a month. Not like every I he, everybody more like they gotta know it and shit. And that. Like I just don't want to plug a camera into my computer. I I don't. I don't. It really doesn't. <laughs> I just don't feel like having another thing to OBS because I don't even know how to OBS. I'm not. You, you don't. You don't have to, man. You know, I, I heard you put the uh, invitation to the alt right and all that shit. I, I, I think maybe what even you fail to realize is people miss that kind of fucking '90s and like the double lots kind of shit of uh, morning zoo radio and like Richard Bay and like fucking Jerry Springer. That shit's not around anymore. Entertaining it shit. 
<laughs> more if they want to listen to something that they can sync like a couple hours on their fucking morning drive to or when they got a minute at work, that kind of shit. Mm -hmm. That's what's entertaining about it. They they fucking like that kind of stuff. I mean, you've got it's a it's a fucking good hook, uh, and it'll work well for you. I mean, I'm sure you're making good money off of super chats. It seems like your channel's growing well and shit. If you yeah, stick with it, it'll just get more popular. You'll make more money, but your audience, uh, from like from the people I've seen that have popped up in there, it's fucking split. I mean, you got people all over politically speaking, like fucking alt right people. Uh, liberals, you got fucking uh, ethno nationalists and fucking commies. Like, it, it's not to them, it's not politics. They just listen to your show because it's fucking entertaining, which is amazing. That's what you want because then you've got everybody coming to fucking listen. They're all there. <laughs> Medical so they, 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 tune, they tune into a radio show, and then next thing they know, um, Ze or, uh, Tonga and Valley are trying to explain Liz Reptile Me to Medicare. <laughs> Medical, well, look, I'm trying to get a burger here. Uh, yeah, there you go. But, like, it's. When like they act like I platform the alt right, that's something like, that Vadim kept throwing at me. Vadim and Pascal keep throwing at me. I platform the alt right. They're just you want the reality of it is a lot of these channels are pissed. I, I noticed this with Bunty King when Ed, or Andy Worski was doing stuff. I've noticed it with uh, Vadim, I guess, and a few others when you've been doing it. Mm -hmm. It's not who you're fucking platforming. They don't give two shits about that. They're pissed off you found something that works. That's the, at the end of the day, that's what it fucking is. Uh, they're I'm looking for, at like, ten years. Yeah, these are people that are looking at sub counts and fucking view counts, and they're thinking, why is this asshole doing better than I am? You know, I'm, I'm doing a goofy cat voice, and I edit 30-minute videos, but he's just sitting there talking to people, and they're just fucking throwing money at him. What the hell's going on? I can see that probably get some spike going. I, I, I don't know. Maybe it's that I, like, and this, this sounds weird, but it may, may, may just be me, like, wanting to think that it's more than that. But, no, people are pretty basic, man. I, I mean, uh, at the end of the day, I it, it, it's really what it is. I mean, <laughs> they're just in this fucking specific case. I mean, especially like with Worski and shit. Go look at his fucking uh, metrics for like two months. months ago. Really, really low sub numbers compared to what he used to have. Like 2,000 for a month, right? And um, his view count was really low. And then he's just like, fuck it. I'm going to do what I find entertaining. And now he's got like, I think this month, like 16,000 new subs. Millions of fucking yeah. views. He's making a, a, just a retarded amount of money on Super Chats. I don't want to uh, take credit and, for Andy's show, but I, I, I'll take credit for opening Andy's eyes that it doesn't have to all be the same way. Yeah, yeah, no, I, but that that's what I'm saying, though, is, like, he decided to do something different, and it worked. You've been doing the Kumite, and then people started tuning into it, and they ended up liking it, oh, and now man. the same thing's happening. You're getting, you know, more numbers. People are viewing it more. People are subbing more. People are fucking throwing money at you. So, I mean, it, when people look at that and they're like, you know, God, I'm busting my ass on YouTube. And then these fuckers just sit, sit on a stream for a couple God, hours man. and they're, they're just blowing by us. This is the, hate, the shit that I hate. What's oh, that? what? Yeah. Taking down yeah. Destiny's docs that have just been posted? Yeah, we do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I've been seeing his docs so many times. I got fucking Pascal's fucking nudes sent to me by people. I got. <laughs> God, that's. Why fucking would anyone want to see that? It's as sad as you would think, Jim. Thank you for sad not you. showing me. All right, I ain't gonna show anybody, man. That's that's not the game. We'll say uh, you're fucking way more natural than Andy is. Like when you guys are like, oh, we got some signs <laughs> in the crowd. It's way better than him interrupting somebody to be like, hey, yeah, uh, Jew Killer Six 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 just said, fuck everybody, let's uh, scorch the earth. All right, what were you saying, Rabbi? <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> <laughs> he just fucking jumps right in, right out of hey, it. Guys, hey guys, I got a secret plan. Right. <laughs> yeah. But at least Andy, I, I think he caught on because he's reading them at the end of the show now. So I think maybe he's got a little bit better of a formula going. A little bit. Uh, the Andy's thing is, a Andy, Andy's a, a bigger guy, but uh, like we've tried to, you know, like give him little fucking pointers here and there. Like, like he he never wanted to stream. I, I was like, no, you gonna get into the streaming game? Look, look, look! Here's, here's some super chat. I know, I know the fucking apocalypse is happening. Go go go! Fucking check that button right there. Yeah, I, I personally, I'm I'm kind of like Andy. I, I fucking hate streaming. Believe it or not, I can't stand doing it. I've seen you uh, do the Metacast. Uh, I can the, I can hear your brain just getting ill having to scroll the chat. But he, here's <laughs> the thing, uh, Andy. Andy and me connected uh, real good. Like uh, he's like I had him on my stream when I had like 18 subs, and it was because we were both O and A fans and. Uh, like, I've always thought he should have, like, an O&A type of thing. It's just he's had his mind stuck in skeptic mode. 
and I've wanted to yeah. like like I, I have connections. I have like fucking friends that are in, in stand up, and I could easily like you know get him Kumia again. I could get him fucking Norton if if only he would actually like. <laughs> Be like, yeah. Well, yeah he, he, here's the thing. I mean, like, yeah, and I meant this when I was talking to you guys earlier about this, uh, I think like a week ago. But um, I, I really do think you're going to start to see like user created networks. Like Tonka's, uh, uh, you know, you've got this morning thing, and he's got like this evening thing. Like, if you two came together and found maybe like two or three other shows to put in there. You you would literally have a day's worth of a programming block. And he's trying. Oh, he's a dumb. He's <laughs> it's happening. No, the dump. The problem with the dump is you get hit for a lot of fucking your copyright and shit. But yeah. I like your shit. I've gotten we, better. We got, I've gotten better. I figured we, out ways, more ways through the algorithm, and I've also started playing less Power Rangers. We we got a few guys. We got AP and Gasly. AP and Gasly are good. Sinatra does some good streams. Cog Cog is good, but he recently lost. He got a strike today because somebody played alien porn on his channel. All right, but hold on. Here's here's the thing with uh, getting somebody is that I I always fuck up ending the Kumite. It never feels like there's a good time to end it in the middle of like I always feel like I wanted to I wanted to play out so that I don't have to do the same shit tomorrow, bringing the same fucking people. Well, no, I mean, it seems like you're expanding. I mean, you've had a, a fucking whole mishmash of fucking people show up. It's been you got You got a little Gypsy V, you got Worski popping on, you've got people like No Bullshit, they're bearing popping on. I, I, I mean, like, you, you've, like, all these people are kind of fucking coming in, and you got smaller people, larger people, and shit. Like I said, people just like listening to it. It's a fucking fun show to listen to. That's that's what I like. I mean, I, I fucking watch you uh, when you stream in the mornings. I I'm not one of those people that like wants to just fucking jump on. I like just to listen. You know what I mean? I tell them uh, that. Have it in the background and shit. Uh, play like playing a game or something or doing some fucking shit uh, that I got to get done for the day. Yeah, you, I try you to tell them that. They see you and they all just start screaming for Jim. Jim, Jim, get Jim on, get Jim on. <laughs> Let the Rock sit in the fucking arena and watch a fucking wrestling match. God damn it. <laughs> But um, no, no, I, I really do think, though, that that's kind of the future. It, the reality is the apocalypse hit. It's never going to fucking fix itself. No. Um, you know, I, I mean, fucking funny story uh, just between us. But mm -hmm. I, I'd say six, seven months ago, whenever the apocalypse first hit, Sargon messaged me. Uh, he had like some idea and he was like, oh, Jim, you don't understand. Uh, you know, Google really is on the side of the content creators and we just have to stand with Google <laughs> and fight against the advertisers. And I was like, you know. Sargon, that is the dumbest fucking thing I've ever heard. Uh, and he's like, well, you know, if we band together, and I was like, there's no we here. I, I don't even run ads on my thing, so this doesn't affect me one way or the other. Um, and I knew it that my, I knew when it first kicked in that this was going to go fucking south for everybody that was doing like YouTube videos and trying to monetize through advertising. And it's just gotten progressively worse as time's gone on. I mean, now they're oh, yeah. they're putting fucking codes in the. Uh, uh, on your your pages and shit. So it's not just that you're not getting ads served, but now it's fucking with view counts and going to subscribers. Yeah. So yeah, also uh, uploads like on my failure accomplished channel, it takes me like ten times longer to uh, get a video processed because they're fucking combing through it. Yeah, but I mean, it, the craziest thing is if you look at the money. I mean, talking even with a channel your size, if you look at the fucking money you pull in through like a super chat. I mean, fuck, you're making more money in Super Chats than I make on Patreon, right? You're, you're making more money in Super Chats than people make on fucking advertisements on their, on their videos, the people that are still monetized. I'm able when, to put the, these guys on a wage now, so that it's... Stupid. Yeah, well, well, when YouTubers figure this out and figure out, holy shit, I don't need to use a fucking PayPal or a Patreon, I don't need to use advertisements, I can just fucking stream and use Super Chats. It's mm -hmm. going to... People are going to go fucking nuts for that shit. There, there, there is one flaw with the streaming, though. What's that? All it takes is, is one strike. Well, that's why you, if you have like a user network, like I'm saying, like if you've got five or six channels banded together to create a you content block for the day, channels, yeah. yeah, you've got other channels. And then you use Streamlabs on, or Streamlabs on top of the fucking Super Chat, and then you've got like a double buffer against something, you know, bad happening. And they start a backup channel, you can push it on the other channels, it's just... Well, yeah, I mean, look at bigger bigger YouTubers. I mean, like, fuck, Sargon's got, um, fuck, what does he have? He has his channel, then the Thinkery, and then the live stream channel. Mm -hmm. So if one goes down, he has the others. And and this has already happened. He had one channel pulled down, but it didn't affect any of the others. I gotta get on that, I guess. Because like this is this is gonna be the game because this didn't get to me. Like, yes, I was a I was a wrestler. Yeah, I won a lot of really shitty looking belts and some really pretty ones. I don't know if you saw, but there were some really pretty belts I won. 
<laughs> well, it's wrestling. I don't know what people are, are fucking expecting. If they're they're expecting that this is like a real life fucking blood sports that you're that, <laughs> like it's like they've never heard. They don't understand what fucking wrestling is. That's what really. The thing, here, here's the thing about uh, about a belt. I know it it's it's something that is given to you because it's been written into whatever, right? When you get the belt, you're the best person in the building. That's yeah. what that means. On that night, you're the best person in the building. Well, yeah, they're not going to push somebody that they don't want to fucking take it. So it's not going to be the schmuck that's the fucking laydown guy that no, you have the job or nobody wants to fucking give the title to, you know? I was I was winning heavyweight belts. They keep pointing out, despite his small size, yes, because I'm a welterweight who was winning heavyweight belts in all these places. I was the top guy there. Yeah. It's a dumb argument. They make me look, but I don't know. Maybe not to them. I don't know. But like, people keep messaging me and they're like, wow, you were actually like, you're wrestling all these giant guys. Like, do you remember Bull Buchanan or anybody from DX, Billy? Fuck no. I, you got to remember, my experience with wrestling is a lot of Papa 80s Shango shit. and Ultimate Warrior. Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That, 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 that was, Rock and that was, Roll was, Express? Mm. I've been watching a lot of, uh, is it Jim Cornette? You know who I'm talking about? Really? I've met him. We don't get along. We're both pricks. He's got a fucking, he's got a, he's got a podcast where he talks a lot about like fucking Midwest wrestling and like Memphis okay. shit. Mm -hmm. Where he talks about like his behind the scenes stuff, which is fucking hilarious. He's talking about one guy who's a promoter in like uh fucking, uh, it was somewhere in Tennessee. But the, the guy wouldn't let him basically set up shop there. Yeah. And uh, he tried to basically kill him with his car. It's a funny yes. fucking story. Yeah. Uh, Bill Dundee. <laughs> so it's just so it's a lot of fucking crazy shit. Oh god, Re wrestling is insane, and that, that's the I, love, insane I love. I love old fun. stories, fucking people throwing shit from cars, like little fucking shit. <laughs> is it uh, Jim Cornette? He he'll like he. Me and him don't get along, but I love wild stories. And I've met him, and he's actually mentioned me by that wrestling name on his show because we did a show together. I've had a match with the current WWE champion. Has AJ mm -hmm. lost the belt yet? I don't oh, think fuck. So. I, I haven't watched any current right like my my run was from like early wwf up through like uh you know some ecw stuff wcw stuff uh and then it, it fucking basically dead ends when uh the mcmahon's bought every yeah and uh -huh. then i was like i'm no i'm no longer interested because they bought up they, they did they didn't stop there they bought everything yeah. up Dude, even though i was wrestling i lost interest in wrestling what, what, no, what do you think of uh, McMahon uh, wanting to bring back that XFL shit? Oh, he should have done it. He, he seems fucking hyped on it though, because he has complete control now. He has no business yeah. partners. This is all I, him. I, I think it's too far away. He needs no. to fucking get it sooner. Yeah, exactly. He needed to do it this year when everybody's so down on the NFL and the fucking patriotism shit and all that. He should have got it going this year. Two years? I, I know it's pushing it out, but I mean, I, I did understand his explanation. I mean, his whole thing was, you know, the last time we did this, we pushed it out in a year and we were fucking nowhere near ready to do this. So mm -hmm. I think he, I think he's really fucking gun shy a little bit because uh, he knows uh, he's quoted as saying basically he wanted to set the situation up where if it's a success, it's all him. And if it's a failure, it's all him. So he, he, I think, is really worried. His name's like fucking nailed onto this. Do motherfuckers have short-term memory? Because like everybody acted like the taking a knee thing was was happening just last year. I remember two years ago, South Park had an episode about take a knee, stand up, whatever. Fucking <laughs> pick one. <laughs> Yeah, South Park's fucking freaky, man. Same with uh, Family Guy and a few others. They they put a lot of fucking uh, jokes and shit in their uh, their scripts that end up being fucking damn near prophetic when they're talking about shit. Yeah, they see it's weird. It's it's not like they it's, they don't see it coming. It's just they pull a parody that's so close to what's actually happening that it ends up happening a little bit down the road. Yeah, I think with Trey uh, Trey Parker and Matt Stone, I I think like you know with their shit, it's they're really observant. Uh, and, and so, yeah, they, they pull a, like a Poe off that's really good and then it ends up happening. I think with like people like um, uh, Seth MacFarlane from like Family Guy and shit, I think he just hears all like the Hollywood rumors, like all the people that work on set with him. And they're like, hey, did you hear Kevin Spacey likes to fuck boys? So then he's like, I'll put a joke about that in there. <laughs> that is weird. Yeah, it still fucks me up. You know, I, I, that's uh, the one that's that's weird. I forgot about that. The Kevin Spacey stuff. Yeah, because I my one of my favorite movies is uh, what is it American Beauty with Kevin Spacey? I love that movie oh, too. That movie's good. Yeah, right. It's fucking fantastic. I mean, it's I still weird. really love him as an actor, but it's really weird to fucking think about how the fucking guy is personally. Tonka, Tonka hates movies. 
But yeah. one of the few, few movies you do one of like the seven it. movies I like is. I just it's a good a movie fucking movie. Netflix yeah. About the guys you don't you don't understand. Like, what, what what was the last movie? What was the last movie you watched, Tanya? It's been like fifteen years. Oh, yeah, but what, which one was it? Which one was the movie that disappointed you and made oh, you? Oh, the movie that it? ended it. Uh, fucking went to go see the Fantastic Four movie where they said Galactus was going to be in it, and when Galactus was a giant oh, swarm of shit. bugs. Yeah. I considered suicide. I immediately got up and walked out, but I was I was so done with movies. I didn't even have words. Like I don't even know if I talked for the rest of the night. I was like, I they really just replaced my favorite fucking character with yeah, bugs. You were, you, yeah, you jumped out before the real hardcore cape shit hit. You know what I mean? Like it was a Fantastic Four. Fuck. Um, oh, I, I, I can't I stand know. it. It's like the zombie cycle. Like every fucking movie is a superhero movie now. I can't, I can't handle it. Like I, I have no fucking urge to go to the theater or theater to watch fucking anything at this point. Especially when it's gonna fucking be out two, like two months later. Like, eh, I'll wait. Yeah, how fucking is that? You go to like a fucking gas station. There's a red box with some shit you just saw a preview for like a week ago. It's already <laughs> fucking out. <laughs> for There's no longevity to them at all. There's like three movie franchises they protect for like a month at most. Yeah, basically. Everything is cycled through so fucking quick. And China's been fucking with everybody when it comes to movie releases over there, so they're desperate to make even more money, so they throw it out quicker. God damn, I'm so fucking high, you switched to saying stuff about China. I thought you were still talking about wrestling. I was like, she's dead, she ain't doing shit. <laughs> <laughs> it is weird. Talk, talk about wrestling in movies. With my, I... <laughs> China, what? <laughs> oh, she ate the fucking worm nap a while ago. What was well, going no, on? the, the reason I brought it up is they, they banned, um, what is it, the new fucking Star Wars over there. Really? What do they ban it for? Uh, there's a word in Chinese, I can't remember what it is, but basically it, it translates, or the rough translation is uh, white liberal guilt. <laughs> uh, and so that's, the, no, I'm not kidding, I'm not kidding. It's basically the idea that white people feel so guilty about shit that they destroy themselves. Uh, and that's kind of what they've tagged the fucking movie with. Wow. Hmm. I, I don't know. That that's what I heard. Maybe it's a bad rumor, but I, I do know that they're they're fucking with box office shit over there. Same with Ghostbusters, but that's because they don't like anything that's fucking supernatural. Oh, hey, oh. hey, 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 Jim, are you are you actually a open Anthony fan or a Norton fan? Yeah, like I said, I, I fucking lo like uh, my thing was, I I can fucking sit my ass down and listen to a day's worth of Jocktober. Like you could sit my ass down. Oh, I like Norton. I like Patrice O'Neill. Like, I, I just, I, it's a fucking good show to listen to. Do you actually like Opie or do you tolerate him because of everyone else in the room? Uh, Opie, I'm an Anthony guy, I guess. It's oh, fine, but God, we're so similar. Yeah. Oh, Best John Cobra was that one with the fat lady. Like, they kept making fun of the fat lady and like they're like, oh, now she's crying about it. This fucking fat pig lady. <laughs> Next time I uh, have Anthony on, you want, you want to jump on? No, no. I learned a long fucking time ago. Never meet your, never meet your heroes. You'll always be disappointed. Actually, never, ever meet your heroes. True story, though, Jim. Anthony, Anthony is actually all right for real. Anthony's cool. I like Anthony. I, I'm sure he's a great guy, but I have been through this fucking shit show once before, and I learned my lesson. Fucking hard. He's just not even gonna risk it. I don't not even gonna risk it. Can, can, can I give you? Can I give you a link to a stream that uh, me Tonka and Vamp had with him? With, yeah, sure. Like I, I like listening to the guy. Yeah, I'll listen to the stream. I love it because, because he, he he did it. Yeah, he did it next to his pool with the T Rex. Or no, it's a it's a Velo he's a Velociraptor. He's a Velociraptor yeah, <laughs> yeah, he, yeah, he's a cool. Guy. I don't blame you for that though. Not not gonna oh, lie, but you yeah. being one of the six people that I actually watched on YouTube didn't really want to meet you either. Yeah, it's like, weird. I right? really don't want to end up hating him and not being able to watch his shit and us getting into. I didn't want to do it. Yeah, it, it's fucking weird, man. You meet you meet somebody you you watch. Uh, it doesn't matter what they do, and then um, <laughs> it goes badly. And you're like, oh fuck. I didn't I didn't want the attention of Paul, and I didn't want the attention of you. Luckily, fucking Liz. <sighs> what does Jim Paul think nice of you? Nice things though? to me in 2014. Paul, the what only does... thing I've seen about me on Paul is that I'm monotone. And what I'm... do they say? About... Does Paul talk about me? Oh yeah, Paul, yeah, Paul's been talking about all this shit. I, they're more yeah. fascinated by uh, the liberalist uh, shit and crowds implosion, and then internet blood sports. Yeah, yeah. there's a internet blood uh, sports thread. What? Yeah, they well, like it. It's even funnier because when uh, you got doxed, everyone just like thinks someone posted your docs, and then 
everyone starts posting pictures of Destiny. <laughs> yeah, they're they're looking forward to the same thing I am. I mean, I really want to see that fucking court case between JF and Destiny. I'll be honest with you, I that that really fascinates me. God, have you seen the pictures they've come up with for the fucking court case? They've got uh, one where Destiny's the size of a toddler on uh, cup stilts on top of a defense table saying, Your Honor, Your Honor, I am a Jew. (laughs) It's the weirdest fucking picture. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. All right, so wait, does Paul Paul dislike me or like me? I don't know what what all the forums think about me. No, no, they they he like the, the Kumite. They like blood sports, man. There was a lot of he looked exactly like we thought he was going to look like. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, my original avatar was just a picture of me where somebody colored over it. Yeah, it's not just Paul either. I mean, you've got uh, their threads on 8chan on the cow board uh, talking about all this stuff. Uh, Kiwi Farms talking about it. Oh great! I'm sure Ed would be talking about it, but they've got that whole fucking thing going on with Zyger leaving the site and then all the drug money shit. Here, oh, here's dude. the here's the Anthony thing. Anthony's the type of guy that I want to be in my fifties, just an alcoholic with a dinosaur. <laughs> well, let's be honest. I think everybody'd like to be Anthony sitting on millions Fuck of fucking yeah. dollars with his own pool and a mansion. Yeah, I think that's the life everybody'd love to have. Fuck yeah! <laughs> I don't know. I'd no, hate the fact that. Yeah. The, the the fact that while he was doing ONA, he just set up a little studio in his basement to fuck around and, you know, point guns at the camera. <laughs> but it still pisses me off what happened to him uh, and getting booted from the show. And then it felt yeah. that that's the thing I, I got it. Uh, that's what kind of, I, I guess, yeah. turned me off of Opie is I felt like he didn't have his back. But yeah, what, what, a coincidence. Sent what, what a coincidence. Right? What a coincidence that uh, when Opie gets tossed out all of a sudden, oh, yeah, Anthony can come back in the building. Right. Yeah. Funny that, eh? Yeah, right. we're real cool. Yeah. Yeah. So, so truthful people. Such so truthful people. Uh, where, where's the timestamp on this thing in the video you sent me, Vamp? That you uploaded and better be unlisted, or else he's gonna flag your channel, and you know it. It's unlisted. Okay, glorious. I, I, I've learned a few things about Destiny. <laughs> he's pretty. More than I've ever cared to know. I don't, I don't, so, our eight chan is the one ran by Hot Wheels, isn't it? Uh yeah yeah uh him and uh James is it Watson I can't remember who the guy is so somebody runs the servers and then uh, well Howie was used to run it but he gave it all over to James huh. I know the guy who runs seven how many are there oh, oh there are a lot a lot of them a lot, there's of, a fucking lot of them uh, all right well what is the consensus like did I did I do something wrong or what is it like. But, you know, you have to understand, people really uh, on a lot of the image boards fucking hate Destiny. So if you're opposed to Destiny, they like you just by default. They hate Destiny. He's so likable. Was it no, all they, this they shit? Really hate him. Go, go to like two minutes in. Is there more to him than the shit that we found out on that stream? Because like, for I'm not internet people, and like, that's not an insult to you because I know that you are like, you are definitely internet people. Like, you get. Oh, this I shit. fucking I love the shit show of the internet. It's it's fucking it. entertainment to me. I'm, I'm, I enjoy it, but I I don't understand it. It's the best way to. Put but it. no, well, here's the thing with Destiny. Like, a video game streamer, right? Nobody really, you know, he had his own audience and did his own shit. But he started doing like all these debates, mm-hmm. and he started bringing in uh, people that were more politically aligned with like uh, poll or other image boards. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then they'd get into a big shit flinging contest, and so it just kept going on and on and on and on and on, uh, and they just gradually they gradually started to really hate him, um, and then it got you know ridiculous. I'd say like in the last two or three months with like the JF court case and him threatening to sue Aiden, uh, and just just all the other weird shit that's going on. The downward spiral since the fucking JonTron thing, like that. My Wait. uncle, who's in the FBI, he's a JonTron fan. When this happened. <laughs> He fucking told me that I needed to watch this. He said, this is the kind of motherfucker I want to see you kick the shit out of. That was my <laughs> introduction to Destiny. Yeah, Destiny, uh, yeah, it, it's once he started doing the debates that things kind of went uh, uh, went tits up for him. And, and, you know, personally, I thought it was really gay with the, uh, the I'm going to sue Aiden because she said mean things about me. I mean, I, I, you know, I've been consistent on this. I thought it was gay when Maddox wanted to sue Dick Masterson. I think it's gay that... Destiny wants to sue Aiden, and I think it's kind of gay that JF wants to sue Destiny. It's just internet lawsuits have always been fucking weird to me. Yeah. I, I guess that's just because I grew up on the internet, so I'm used to people just being fucking awful to each other. Oh, well, it was like, all right, here was the th- uh, there's a there's a tweet where it says that, oh, fine, I'll sue your ass. I said that to Pascal because Pascal wants to act like anything I say is a threat. 
saying that I used to do MMA is a threat. Saying I used to wrestle. Everything I say to Pasco, he says it's a fucking threat. I said, so can I threat a lawsuit? Can I threat? What can I threaten? And I was like, push some shit to where I could, to where I could threaten you with a lawsuit. Do that. Well, I, I can tell you what gets under Pascal's fucking skin. I mean, it was real yeah. obvious the first time I ever talked. No, no, uh, he wants to be taken seriously. If you don't take him seriously, he that facade of that smug intellectual fucking fades away instantly, and he gets real mm -hmm. fucking mad. Important question: uh, Geo Cities or Angel Fire? Oh, Angel Fire. Oh hell yeah. no! I'm a tripod. How does it... <laughs> Angel Fire. What are we? What are we talking about? Geo Cities. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> Shameful you'd even mention that. Shameful I don't know. I, is that like that's what what did he go at John Tron about? Because that's like that's when everything kind of starts where I, where it, I it was from the uh the John Tron <laughs> the the whole thing came from uh, okay, there's this uh I've explained this to a few people. I will try to sum it up as best I can for you. I, I call it okay, you you have you ever heard the term red pill before? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's good, especially as it relates to like right wing politics. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So John Tron had what's I, I like to call red pill Tourette's. It's where like <laughs> no, no, seriously, it's it's where you 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 shift from your original political position of maybe you're like left leaning or centrist, and then you become like really right wing, and you're really fucking excited about it, right? Because like you're like, oh my god, I'm so red pilled, my eyes are fucking open, but you don't know how to express it properly yet. Yeah. And so it's like a fucking tick. You're like sitting down talking to somebody and you're like, the Jews did 9-11. Like, 16 year old atheist. Stop can't stop it. Like, it's a fucking Tourette's like thing. It's like so 16 John year old Tron, atheist, right? Like with the whole. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. That's not real, mom. Yeah, it, it's exactly like that. So uh, he had a stream where he, you know, he, he was, he was going to be open about his politics and he was really into it. Uh, and he didn't do terribly, but it's just, he was so into it. Um, he said some stuff that they took advantage of and was like, oh, my God, John Tron is the the most racist son of a bitch on Earth. And he just got fucking hammered on that. He got hammered on it so much he got uh, kicked off a video game doing voices. I remember that. Oh, Jesus. I saw that in your video, the ukulele shit, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The ukulele stuff. For that for years. Yeah. And um, I think it was a Kickstarter award, too. I, I can't yeah. remember the fucking details on that. But that was a huge deal. Yeah. So that that's what he got hammered on. And um. I, I, I don't know. I mean, some of the stuff he said I thought was fair. Some of it was a little stupid, but nothing was, like, really outrageous. It's not like this he's guy is talking on. about... Yeah, it's not like he's talking about opening up concentration camps or something fucking insane. Or, like, bombing, uh, carpet bombing Mexico. Or carpet bombing them. Mexico, yeah. Oh, but, um, yeah, he... he. I think the reason they jumped on it is, it's you're right, it, it's JonTron, right? So they're just used to fucking watching him smile and play video games. Yeah. So here he is talking about politics and, like, holy shit, what? So, uh... uh yeah, he got a lot of shit for that, and then people got really angry that he was getting shit on for it. Uh, it's kind of similar to what happened to PewDiePie, when they fucking just hammered him for making a bunch of dumb fucking jokes in his videos. That was, that was a sad day when they went to PewDiePie like that. I don't well, even yeah, like there, PewDiePie. There's this weird fucking... I, I don't know what it is, but there is a really weird reaction uh, if you're right-wing at all, and, and you make her like a right-wing joke, or you make you talk about right-wing politics. PewDiePie got hit for it for making a joke. JonTron got hit for it for talking about it. And then you saw, like, the whole reaction with all the skeptics and shit, uh, like, with yeah. in relation to the war ski when he had fucking uh, Richard Spencer on and shit. Um, uh, and, and I don't know why. I mean, you know, fucking some of the stuff they say is goofy as shit. Have them on, laugh about it, whatever. But you uh, like, on your stream that had 14,000 people watching. No, the I only reason 14 people are watching is because he is on. Well, they, they're watching, too, because nobody else would fucking, you know, like, nobody else is willing to do it. So, I mean, people are interested in hearing it. It's not that they fucking agree with it. They just want to fucking hear it. So exactly. let them talk about it. Shit. Who cares? I mean, I've done fucking streams with, uh, uh, you know, Antifa supporting fucking BLM members, you know, full-on communists and shit. I, I did a, uh, a Black cast on Meadowcast, where I had this guy, like, Worski from, like, Lefty Pole come on. And it was, like, a two-hour stream. You know, I don't agree with anything he said, but fuck it. You know, what's the issue of fucking having him come on and talk about where the fuck he wants to talk about? People are too fucking uptight. They, they don't want to talk to anybody that doesn't agree with them. Oh, Jesus. Well, yeah, there's that. yeah, but, yeah, but see, I'd move past that. That was halls of debate level shit. I, I think I've outgrown that at this point, and I just want to be fucking entertained now. I just want to make fun of things. This might sound yeah. weird, but I've never been accused of being right-leaning until now. <laughs> Ever. 
Yeah, what's well, a shotgun approach? They just want to, you know, pelt you with enough shit to see what sticks. That's all they're looking for. Uh, like a lot of them, like they're saying that I'm white and shit. Is, didn't you say you were? I I said I never said I was black. What? Billy's black. I'm not. What? That's right. I'm trans black. I'm a proud <laughs> member of the trans black race. Every time I see a Poffet tweet now, I just do hashtag. It's real to me. All right, like that's the Poffet's other thing. One of the characters I did was a Samoan. Because it's wrestling. Yeah. It's real to me. I also I also portrayed a Puerto Rican. I also portrayed a Japanese guy. Fucking Puerto Rican. Oh, oh my bad. Japanese. I'm gonna I'm gonna you're be accused of being racist again. Well, that's what happens when you're a cruiserweight in wrestling promotions and you own lots and lots of masks. Another one fucking are. Bronx blo blogger fucking accused me of being a racist motherfucker. Okay, you know that guy that I share on all the time, that uh fucking uh zombie dragon? I helped train that motherfucker. He's in Jim Sterling's newest video because apparently they're teaching Jim Sterling to wrestle. I hope they shoot on him. Oh, that's going to be great. Make him cry a little bit. Oh, yeah. It, look, Zombie Dragon <laughs> shoots fireballs, and if he fucks up and gets a little bit of that stuff on that goofy outfit Jim's wearing and it happens to catch fire, I'm not going to cry. I hope he flames his fucking face and just overkills him. Yeah, Zombie Dragon is the best, by the way. Like, I know I know you said you liked older wrestling. Is that cool now? Don't even watch the wrestling, but look up Zombie Dragon. Just look at what this motherfucker looks like. He does, like, full, like, Hollywood makeup. Got, like, bones and shit hanging out of him, pieces of Yeah, glass. but, I mean, here's the, here's the thing. I liked being the mark. I liked fucking sitting there and watching some big black dude named Papa Shango talk about voodoo in the ring. It was I like watching. I like watching some coke addled Ultimate Warrior run around like a fucking maniac. That's what I love. You know mm -hmm. that shit was fucking exciting. And then like you know WCW with the NWO shit. Like I was like, wow, what the fuck is this? This is amazing. Why is Razor mm -hmm. Ramon walking through the audience? You know exactly. Uh, that shit was fucking great. What's that phone uh, number on Brian Pillman's sign, real quick? <laughs> oh shit, failure pulled him up. That I trained that motherfucker. We're like the exact same build, too, by the way. Tell him how shitty he is. See how Jim Sterling gets pissed off at you. <laughs> oh, he, has a, he has a belt. Oh, yeah, he's the ego champion. Oh, son. Yeah, but how, how dare ego. you have a belt? Uh -huh. Just go to, go to a bit where he looks fucking awesome. Because uh, he's fucking awesome. Trying to pop up on where he is and throwing. Oh, That's people putting him in video games oh. and shit. That dude's um, fucking great. He's going to Japan and shit. Like he, he's so going around. Yeah, I, I don't know. I think it was the um, yeah, because it was right after WCW. So, I mean, it's kind of like tail end or m the middle he of like the attitude era. In a little bit. See what? Yeah, but on. it just I don't know. It, it just it lost its fucking appeal. Like, everybody they looked the same. Nobody had any gimmicks. It was just it, uh. brother. It, it goes from being is. Macho Man <laughs> and Ultimate Warrior and Papa Shango to Seth. And John. Hey, look, it, it's, it's, right? It's, fat, it's fucking it's stupid. It's old old yeah. I know all of those guys. Who, of who's them. fat old Schmeckle up there? The fat old Schmeckle up there? Uh, that's uh, Richard. He's a good dude. Uh, the guy down at the bottom with the uh, bowl cut black man. That's actually Trevor, who I helped train. And that's uh, Zombie Dragon, who's next to him. The, those two guys, there, I helped train them. The other black dude on the far right, I don't know him as well, but I have met him. He's a good dude. But I I helped train the two uh, the two Negroes there on the bottom left hand corner. <laughs> oh, you, you know the fucked up thing I, uh, from one of the like uh, the cornet videos and shit. Yeah, I had no fucking idea that Cena like I again because I I haven't been paying attention to any of this shit. Um, I I always thought Cena was just like a discovery from the WWF or WWE, whatever the fuck they call themselves now. I didn't know he started out somewhere else. Like I I heard him on uh, the mic just yeah, just shit talking. But he was he was fucking good at shit talking. I was really impressed. I'm listening to this guy running his fucking mouth, and I was like, uh, "There's the no way mohawk. that's John Cena." What the fuck was it when he had the blonde mohawk? Uh, yeah, he had it. It was a weird kind of fucking hairstyle. He was wrestling again. It's like uh, Brock's hairstyle. It was like yeah, Batista, was the but they call him something different. The Leviathan. Uh, the okay, I know what you're yeah, talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah, was you the know prototype what I'm versus Leviathan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, "Fucking shit!" I didn't know Cena could talk like that. He was good, and then he got bogged down into the uh, Wigger thing originally, but he eventually got good at it, but then they eventually pushed him to be the next Hulk Hogan kind of Marine Wigger man, and it just, I don't know. It's very Kevin Federline, and I always saw it that way. <laughs> yeah. I think he would have made a better heel. That's the thing that fucks me up. Like, after hearing him on oh, the yeah. mic, I was oh, like, was a this heel. guy should have been a heel. heel during the, well, during true story, the true story, Jim. He was supposed to be a heel through all this stuff. He was supposed to be the heel of the past decade and a half, not the baby face. Brock Lesnar was going to be the big name, and he was going to be Fucking the Fucking Lesnar? Really? Wow. But Brock Lesnar left. 
He went to the yeah. UFC. He left to go do other shit. That's why they hated him so much for so fucking long because he fucked up their long term plans. Oh, so they had to readjust on the like, fly. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that makes sense. So John Cena became the next guy we're going to push. I would have went with Batista. Who's the guy they're pushing now? Uh, one of the Rock's relatives. Oh, um, Roman. Roman yeah. Was, so what's the deal with that? Everybody I've ever talked to says that they is fucking Roidy me. Yeah, they all hate him, but he's gotten too good to where now they just look like they're hating for hate's sake. He's not that bad. I, I is, 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 down is he not him. good at doing? Like, is he not good at talking, or is he just shit at wrestling? Like, no. What's the issue with? All him? right. The issue is that they want guys like Finn Balor, who were five eight. 200 pounds, you know, guys my size. They want guys my size in the WWE to be pushed over Brock Lesnar. <laughs> yeah. I, I, uh, the first time I used to explain this all the time on my wrestling stream is why that's a stupid fucking idea. See, I can't imagine that happening because Vince has a fucking thing for bulky dudes ever since his yeah. bodybuilding <laughs> shit. Add in that he was the UFC champion, too, and where he's been champion all these other places. You think he's going to dip that out for some fucking guy who doesn't even tip the six-foot mark? Are you for real? I, yeah. I triggered the entire Grapple Vision chat by just saying, oh, no, I like Roman Reigns. And yeah, they, me they have, wrestling fans just hate him because he's The Rock's nephew, and they're like, he's just getting his spot from nepotism. And it's like, well, yeah, also, he's not five foot tall. Yeah. Well, yeah, see, I wouldn't go with that argument because they're, they're like a, a lot of fucking wrestling families. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. they train and shit and they all get fucking into it because uh, they're all yeah, there's raised a, in there's it. There's a few. There's a few. Bray Wyatt. Uh, who else? Everybody is pretty much involved now is in a family. Randy Orton, uh, like you said, Wyatt's. Oh, yeah, everybody. Cody Rhodes. Yeah, Cody Rhodes. All kinds of people Gold who got dust. jobs because of who they know. Yeah. And it's been that way for a long time. It's not. That's not a new thing, but they used to put gimmicks on them boys. Now yeah. it's just come here, Seth. Come here, John. Come here, Dean. Yeah, I think that really is part of one of the major things that kind of fucking killed it for me. Like, I don't want you to sound like a frat boy and all dress the same. It kind of fucking just doesn't do anything for Walk me. Walk to the ring in a t-shirt, every fucking one of you. How about you paint yourself like a, a lunatic and run out there like your ass is on fire? You know what I mean? Oh, that I mean, is exactly. funny. That's I mean, fucking great. I mean, like, exactly. You mean like this, Jim? Don't don't ever give uh, this guy. He walks to the ring with a Bible open that's on fire. Yeah, like he's reading a Bible that's on fire. That that's that's how he comes to the ring. Yeah, see, he put a lot like of time. Oh, he's so good. If he doesn't get pushed, at least ROH TNA, at least right up under WWE level, I'm gonna be sad. Like this is I don't know. This is what it looks like uh, unless you go to like ROH WWE or if you go to like Texas. Like I've wrestled in front oh, of thousands of people. Boy. The Nature Boy, Polly. We all know. <laughs> oh fuck, Polly. Yeah, there's a fake Ric Flair that exists. He paid Ric Flair money to endorse him. Wait, is that is that his whole gimmick? Is he yes. the uh, yeah. yeah yeah? He's the real Nature Boy. He's the he Elvis had... impersonator of wrestling. That's yeah. true, yeah. true story, you, you Jim. Understand. Hold on, hold on. We got it. We got to tell this story because this is the most important. This is what Jim will get the most out of because a lot of it is just wrestling stuff, and he's goofy. One time, this dude, and this is a very prominent YouTube video. Nature Boy Paul Lee goes up to a comedian. And a fucking thing. Not kidding. Goes up to a comedian who is doing his comedic set. And he punches him in the nuts because he was making jokes about him. <laughs> what? For real. Is there a video of it? Yes. Oh, God. Thank God there is. And I made a video about it. Back on my old, like, wrestling channel and shit. Like, yeah, this is a well-known thing. This guy. Was this, was this, this is a joke in the wrestling. wrestling why, was he, why was he there? No, he went to this guy's comedy show, Jim. Oh, because he was fucking with... Okay, all right, I got yeah, you. and he starts fucking with him in the crowd because he looks ridiculous. He looks like a man trying to look like Ric Flair in the 80s in 2000 and whatever. I just love this one, this video that you showed me. Because you can't even audience. pay Ric Flair to get dressed. Oh, they, my God. Just, Rick Rick oh, yeah. Is like he's about to pick his, gr his this was, grandkids up. Yeah. This is Ric Flair coming here. This is how many people show up for Ric Flair. The, this is what the audiences look like for Ric Flair in this guy's like, fucking that, arena. But that's not the entire audience. Don't forget the on the other side. The ones yeah. that he painted on the wall. Yeah. You should show him the comedian don't, thing. Don't, don't, don't ruin it for him. Yeah, you see that back there? That, that's, that's This is the direction that they filmed from, Jim, and he has painted an audience on the wall. <laughs> that is fucking crazy. Well, I remember yeah, the first time I walked out in this promotion, I stood at the entry, entryway, and I just stared, and I was like, is the fucking audience painted on the wall for real?
Yeah. And just the more I walked down that little ramp, they was like, they really so, can't. Paul, he wrestle at all? Or is his whole gimmick, he just kind of looks like Ric Flair? He's okay. She actually used to wrestle for WCW a long time ago. You can find videos of Michael Hayes beating the shit out of him and treating him like a genuine <laughs> fucking cunt rag. It's in Oakland, California. Uh, there go, you need to show him that co- the thing where he met the comedian. All right, like, I will. That's, but here, that's here's one, one of my here, here's one of my other part funny parts in this video is just people walking in mm-hmm. from the street. Look on the, <laughs> on just the, the camera way. Okay, yeah, where that, the fuck is this? <laughs> this is uh. Look, look, look to the left. There's Ring gold, Georgian. Excuse me, can <laughs> we use the bathroom? Yeah, it's, it's like they're looking for a Starbucks and like, wait a minute, is that a wrestling ring? <laughs> oh, you should see what it looks like outside. It does look like a restaurant. It looks like a restaurant's in there, and a lot of people will walk in and walk out because what the fuck? Look, there look, are look fans the painted on the, the wall. Maid. Look at the bitch in the maid outfit looking over like, oh, okay, there's, there's actually some people. We're closed right now. This is real, though, Jim. This is Ringgold, Georgia. You didn't see the save me look on her face. Oh, it was, <laughs> I used to go in here, and it was, I went here t- t- three times, maybe. I want to say two, but I'll say three to be safe. His sons <laughs> are terrible. He's terrible. He, he, he so are, are, there any, are there any sizable like indie fucking ventures left? Because it feels like McMahon picked apart everything he could fucking get his hands on. You can't get money off the ground indie-wise because no one... At the level of indie, you have to work together to make money. But no one wants to do that because they're afraid of having to share that money. But you have to work indie-wise in order to get to a level to where you can make money that way. You can only run shows that are comparably small to this if you wish to make money. You can pack a few hundred people in and start to make money. Once you start booking thousand seat, you know, venues and you start to bring in names, you're gonna start taking a hit to the pocket. Because wrestling yeah, doesn't work that listening, again, I mean, the, you know, the cornet shit. Because I like hearing like the inside stuff. At least mm-hmm. he's got some of that. But yeah, um, I still listen. Here, here's here's Tonka's channel on the side chat over here, the Grapple Vision channel, where he mm-hmm. has a bunch of. There's one video. Uh, do you remember what it's called, Tonka? It's is the one where uh, a, bu- no, no, a bunch of people were booked for this fucking. Show oh, from- yeah. Uh, bad promoters ruin everything. <sighs> where is bad promoters do ruin everything. <laughs> bad promoters ruin everything. Where is it? Where is it? Which I'm like, it's a long one, but it, it's a good story. It's got a good. It's a good story to it. It I'm was a show that was getting. It, yeah. Yeah, show was getting put together over in Georgia. Every name you can think of, oh, huge God, names. The Paul, the Paul Lee stream where you guys had me tweet at him to see if he would actually respond to come and on. And he stream. blocked everybody who was coming over from Grapple. Oh, wait. this is Tonka's channel. Twenty-seven thousand subscribers that he had before. Like this is how we met. They keep trying to he say I'm about fame horn. I left this channel and gave it to other people. Yeah. Now, have you guys I ever watched um, OSW HC at all? I'm friendly yeah. with them. They, oh, uh, the Lex Luger that. videos that I have on my channel, they mm-hmm. played them at their WrestleMania panel this year. Yeah, because I, I the watched their stuff. Look I, the I started watching them like, uh, a year ago. Yeah, I really like their shit. They're fucking amazing. I love those yeah, fucking guys. But look, yeah, they really hit it well, too. Like, their Patreon sitting like 12 grand. I mean, it's fucking crazy money. Oh, yeah. They're for they a deserve. bunch of guys just sitting around talking about shit they like. And they deserve the, the fuck out of it. These videos, these videos got decent views. 4.7 million, 1 million, 700,000, 400,000. So far. Yeah, because, I mean, that's the thing. People still like wrestling. They may not watch it, but they like hearing people fucking talk about it. <laughs> yeah. um, like, I'll find incidents, and I'll, I'll put the uh, video of it over. Like, you might... All right, this isn't me shilling. I, oh God, that's gay. But uh, the wrestling gets real thing, it's all just people who end up shooting on each other and the people involved sh- telling the story over it. So you get to see what happened, plus fucking the person beating the ass talking about it. Or getting their ass whipped. Talk about it. Here's the bad promoters ruin everything link. I'm actually wanting to watch it later. It's a really good fucking video. It's fucking oh yeah, boring. that's what I was gonna say. Like uh, listening to Cornette talk about like what it was like back in the '80s and '90s. I mean, it sounded like people could make decent fucking money doing it. It just oh, seems yeah. like today it's really different. Like you can't what, up until up 2001, 2002, Jim. There was money in wrestling. Unless you're the you're the, you're the young bucks, they'll tell you that they make more money than they would in the WWE. Well, there were a lot more jobs in the early 90s before all everywhere got eaten up. But even with just WCW and just WWE, having two big, healthy promotions, there's a fuck ton more jobs for everybody. 
Well, and I'm sure people would have liked uh, Bischoff's pay rates because, from what I hear, WCW was fucking nutty when they paid people. Ted Turner's pay rates. Chris Jericho signed on for his first contract pretty much ever for $3 million over three years. Yeah, right? Fucking shit. Guys are getting 500 bucks a shot right now in WWE, Jim. I can show you checks. <laughs> I know guys in WWE now. I'm friendly with them. I like I've sat around like there's a there's a video right now up of uh one of the tag team champions has a let's play channel. I know for a fact that they're getting fucked up beforehand because they're sitting in the fucking drug dealer's house. The guy everybody bought weed from. <laughs> they're sitting right in his fucking house and he even makes an appearance stoned out of his fucking gourd. It's fucking oh, great. God. There's a great video up. Uh, I, I wish I could remember the title of it. It's uh, somebody's going to like uh, WWE and they get a meeting with McMahon. Because mm -hmm. uh, he has a gimmick, and his gimmick is he can throw up on command. Uh, Darren draws off. Yeah, so Vince is like, "Oh, that's that's great. I, I'll sign you for that." So he brings he brings him up to the office. He's like, "Here's a here's a fucking trash can. Throw up for me." And the guy couldn't do it. It took him a minute, and he got a little bit up, and he got it. It was great. That's Vince, no, I, though. I, I love that because he like Vince is with his like hands under the puke puke. <laughs> Holy but, uh, shit! Did you ever see the uh, the one where uh, Vince is doing? He's like cutting a promo or whatever. I can't remember what the fuck it is, but um, he, God, who was it? He was talking about. I, I can't remember. This is like maybe three or four years ago. I think I've got like a video of it saved somewhere, where he's talking about what he wants done to one of these wrestlers, and he's like, "I want a biker gang to rape his wife." Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my God. What you know. talking about? Holy shit, man. That happened like a year after they got in a bunch of trouble for Kurt Angle holding down Booker T's wife and saying, I want to have bestiality sex with you. <laughs> what? For sure, man. Vince just does not give a fuck sometimes. No, there, there's, a fuck. Uh, there's an interview he had with like a Dutch reporter, and the reporter's trying to ask him about like injuries to wrestlers, and Vince is getting annoyed, and the guy keeps pushing it, right? Mm -hmm. And so Vince just reaches over and smacks the papers out of the dude's hands and then just starts making a face at him going, whoa, 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 whoa. Well, <laughs> it's the funniest here, shit here, I've here, ever seen. Here's another one that I love. It's 30 seconds long. What's up, boss? <laughs> How you doing? Yeah. What's good in the hood? Let's hold it down. Try to care of it. <laughs> Keep it up. I'm a nigga. <laughs> 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 That is that Booker. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Glorious. God bless him. Just say that. It's a great clip. That will never not be a great clip. I've heard a lot of fucking shit things about uh, McMahon, but like I think when he dies, the world's real. <laughs> I'm gonna be so look. As far as wrestling goes, my hero was Ricky Steamboat. And I don't everybody who looked at stuff, yeah, sell, 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 sell. And then I fucking went and take the belt home like Ricky Steamboat. But my goal is a businessman. I wanted to be Vince. <laughs> Fuck it, I want to be Vince. Vince is, he is the coolest. Yeah, but he, he's fucking super successful. I mean, look where he is now. Yeah. I, I mean, shit, when, Vince. when WCW started catching fire, they were they were kicking ass for a while in the ratings, but Vince fucking still turned it around, which is amazing mm -hmm. to me, because I, I didn't think he was going to. But he then I found out about Bischoff and Turner and how they were fucking inept about running that shit. It, I, they weren't so... In, all right, here's what actually happened with that. A lot of people are like, okay, well, they cut off the... It, that wasn't what happened. An AOL merge with Time Warner happened. When that happened, Ted Turner lost his stock and holding WCW and the person who was over like oh no no I, I know about that I, I'm talking about like the contracts because from what I understand like, oh yeah the contracts were outrageous but they right. could still pay them yeah but I mean that's the thing though is when the invasion of angle happened right and they took over WCW from what I understand the the reason half the guys didn't fucking give a shit or show up is because they were on contracts where they're getting paid to show up whether they're getting paid either way oh, so yeah they, they five million dollars to sit sit at home yeah, exactly. Yeah. So you're expecting all these people to show up, right? It's going to be fucking amazing, and you get nobody. And you're like, Sean what the fuck happened? Yeah, Evan Courageous. <laughs> right? You're like, what the fuck happened? What, what, what I love is, like, stories about, like, how Scott Hall would just walk to the ring drunk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm, Scott I'm Hall's a good Last time I saw Scott Hall, he was introducing Cody to everybody. And Scott was in good shape. He was happy. He was nice to everybody. Even people who didn't fucking matter. Motherfuckers who ain't even got gear. They got knee pads and blue jean shorts on and shit. They ain't nobody's. He's nice to them too. 
The last mm-hmm. clip I saw of Scott Hall was I, I don't even know where the fuck it was. Uh, uh, I think this uh, might have been on an ESPN show where he he was so fucked up trying to walk to the ring. Yeah, he can't like, get to the I, ring. Had two people helping him. Yeah, yeah, it was bad. Bad man. clip. Yeah, but uh, all right. He goes to the bathroom, and his son Cody, who he's put over to everybody there, and told everybody how great he's going to be, how great of a worker he is, and how he just got him a contract to Japan. He had dipped out while Scott was in the bathroom. You know what he did? He stole his wallet and got on the plane to Japan. Uh, really? Seriously? Yeah, yes. Dude, that's a well-known story. You can, like, if you type in right now, Scott Hall's son steals his wallet. You'll find the story. Holy shit. That's, Nobody uh, kept that under up. the hat. Well, he had put his son over so hard that night and, like, did this big thing in the ring where he, gave, like, handed down his gear to him and stuff and said, you know, I'm done wrestling, but this is my say. Like, oh, he's in front of – I think we had – I mean, I think we only had 800 people there that night uh, for this show. I was just booking. But, uh, like, it was a success. He had put his son over. Everybody's fucking had, you know, everybody, had, he had a good fucking match, too. They, uh, I think he had a match with, uh, uh, fuck, I can't even remember his name. You won't even know who it is. Uh, Frankie Kazarian. He had a match with Frankie Kazarian, which is, he's a big deal. And every, he looked like a million bucks. Scott Hall goes to the fucking bathroom and comes out, and his son has dipped out on him and stole his motherfucking wallet. That's fucking rough, man. That was so fucking. That, that was rough. the saddest I've ever seen anyone in my entire life. Like without them, like just you know. See, some, this is why I don't like Scott Hall stories. Like every fucking clip I see or every story I hear, it's always fucking sad at the end. Yeah, they all end very sad. Like they start upbeat, like something's about to happen, and then the Scott Hall story. They all end like a Scott Hall story. Right. <laughs> so I eventually, you're like, I can't, I can't fucking handle any more of these. Yeah, I've, uh, Marty Janetti. Did you hear about Marty Janetti in the past year? Oh my no. God. No. You don't. Okay. This you this is something that you will love, Jim. This is up your alley, even though it's not on the internet. Okay, so Marty Janetti's been having a rough time. Very rough time. Uh, but I know Marty. And just let it be known, Marty is not a smart man. Okay. I've I've hung out with Marty, I've smoked some pot with Marty, uh, wrestled matches with Marty. Great wrestler, very smart about wrestling, very smart about travel, very smart about you know what he's smart about, but he's not a very socially I know what I'm doing, guy. So he gets a test result back from a paternity test with his daughter. And if you go to Google right now and you type in Marty Janetti daughter, you are going to be like, because what you're going to see yeah. where Marty goes on to Facebook and he says, okay, guys, so my daughter's not really my daughter, but we do love each other and she's really fucking hot. Should I bang? Shut yeah, the that happened. That happened. Wow. I wish I was kidding. I I haven't talked to Marty after that happened. What was the fucking reaction? There must have been oh, a reaction. Oh, there's a that. hell of a reaction. Oh god, damn, it's all over. Fucking. If you just type in Marty Janetti, like first thing that comes up is daughter. Yeah. So this fuck was like the saying, fuck the like an icebreaker joke, I guess, and it just didn't come out right. Or no, was he after serious? after the reaction, he's like, "I was hacked. It was also a joke." Oh, it was it's also... one of those things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, yeah, he did because he's Marty. He doesn't know oh, what that is. is Marty, that is rough. He's like, "Should I bang, guys?" And it's like, Marty. Like, if people <laughs> look at that article, you'll probably even see my Facebook name on there. Like, Marty, take this down. <laughs> <laughs> delete this <laughs> like, what are you oh, doing oh, oh fuck did his daughter react was there a post from her oh, about did she, oh did she i think she was somewhere in the thread it was it was the weirdest the worst experience because uh like she's grown it's not like a young thing but and she's not really his daughter remember but he raised her as his daughter and now like two days ago she's not your daughter so today it's like you know what she's kind of hot should i bang guys and it's like, oh fuck what tag Tact. Don't don't Woody Allen out on us. Like you gotta. Woody Allen out. You raised yourself a fine wife, and that's great and everything. But you've gotta, <laughs> you gotta pull it back a notch or two. You can't just that's, go. That's and... fucking. That that is fucking amazing. I I'm I'm really shocked that there isn't uh, 800 yeah. Marty Janetti videos up and then fucking scrolling in the background. Dude, this it's amazing. Failure. You saw that right? Failure. Yeah. <laughs> there was no way around seeing that shit if you were paying attention to wrestling anything around that time. No way around seeing the Marty Janetti shit. It was everywhere. Yeah. 
It was everywhere. You couldn't avoid it. It's like, Marty wants to bang his daughter. What? Okay, it's not really his daughter. But he thought it was two days ago. Yeah. This <laughs> is like, fuck. Yeah, see, that's the shit I find entertaining, too, is like listening to the fucking, uh, you know, uh, just listening to the shit that kind of goes on behind the scenes or in personal lives. Or, that's the good like, shit. There's, there's so much crazy shit out there and sad stuff, too, like the Razor Ramon stuff or crazy shit uh, like fucking Benoit. I mean, Jesus. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And, like, there's, a, like, the weird shit that people want to tie to. I wish I could get, like, I wish I could go full Destiny fan and get some court docs from what happened with the Benoit thing. Some of them secret docs where they get, because some people say some people had called and some people hadn't called and just the way the chain of events went down. Oh, fuck. Who, who was it that got, uh, they were going to uh, try to reopen a case about some murder that happened uh, in, like, the fucking 80s. Oh, was... they already have. Superfly Jimmy Snuka had murdered yeah, yeah, his girlfriend. Yeah, yeah he uh, was found guilty. And then he died a little bit after that, didn't he? Oh, fucking really? Yeah. Shit, see, I, I remember when that popped up, and then I stopped paying attention. Do you know how that happened, Billy? Do you know what the story is on that on that deal? No, no, no. I, okay. I remember it getting brought up, and then I was like, fuck, really? Because I, I, I love the guy when he was in the 80s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me too. I like Superfly. I was big on Superfly. All right, fucking Superfly and his girlfriend are in a fucking hotel room. Uh, Nobody knows exactly what happened here, so I, I won't even speculate. But here's what happened. She gets flung, she beaten the fuck up, flung out a window. Uh, cops show up. When the cops get there, Vince McMahon is standing there. And he claims that Jimmy Snooker cannot speak English. And Vince McMahon speaks for him on all the police reports. Oh, so McMahon, McMahon uh, <clears throat> was protecting him. Yeah? Vince McMahon legit was sitting there speaking for him, knowing that he did speak English. So, yeah, so I'm just looking. I'm looking at the wiki. I, I, yeah, I didn't know he died January of just last year. Fuck. Like two months after he was found guilty. Look, yeah, I, I remember that popping up, and then I stopped following it for a while, and then, uh, yeah, it just popped into my head. I, I didn't know he got nailed on that. Mm -hmm. No, it's, everybody knew it, and like the thing with Vince is so weird because, like, again, I, I know I said that I wanted to be like Vince, but like he did some real shady shit there early on before he thought he could get caught. Like, I've even made a video about uh, the weird sex scandal that happened right before the steroid scandal, which I'm pretty sure the steroid scandal was just like, fuck it, release this steroid scandal because this needs to go away. Because they were, like, bringing in little boys and shit to put the rings together. And, like, Mel Phillips, Pat Patterson, if you know who that is. Oh, oh, see, don't, don't kill, don't kill the, don't kill, don't kill my well, love no, no. of sports well, do you, with where you're going with this. Well, do you, do you like Pat Patterson and do you like, who's the other one who's actually involved? It's only a couple. Ron Garvin, Pat Patterson, and Mel Phillips. Uh, old ring announcers and Pat Patterson, essentially. That's the only one who was ever in the ring. So what, what exactly happened with the little boy sitting up the ring? Oh, did you really never catch this scandal? Because I feel like we're like the same age. I don't want you, don't like Dr. No, no, see, like, and that's the thing. Much. But see, uh, my understanding was the rings got set up and torn down by the fucking wrestlers half the time. Fuck. So why were they bringing little boys in? Well, that, all right, that's on the indie level, but this is something that Pat Patterson used to organize back in the day. It was called the well, Cream what, Team. What year are we talking about? Like, when, when exactly? 90, fuck, failure, do you know? Cause, all right, I've got a video, and I don't want to show videos. That's fucking cringy. So but it's the it, 90s, then? I want to, yeah, early 90s, early 90s. Okay. okay. I'm not sure which year. It's right before the steroid scandal breaks. The steroid scandal breaks after this, and it hushes this down. Yeah, no, I remember the steroid scandal. I don't remember the Pat Patterson little boys one. Right before that. You'll even notice Pat Patterson was gone from the company for a long time and didn't make his first appearance back until WrestleMania 9, in which it was impromptu because somebody else had forgot something. He had to go out there and tell them about it. They, they didn't want people to know he was silently hired back as everyone else involved had had to step away. This is so – this is what – all right. Remember, I told – failure vamp, I tell you guys this all the time. Nobody mm -hmm. remembers that fucking scandal. Jim nope. lives for this shit. He doesn't remember. Are, are you sure this isn't like some weird Berenstein Bears new dimension shit? Because hey, I don't remember this. Ring boy scandal. We, do, we don't have to, like, watch, like, the whole video, but you'll be amazed. Like, Randy Orton's fucking uh, uncle, he was involved. Is it true that uh, Macho Man fucked uh, – what's her face? Can't confirm or deny, but right before Macho Man died on his uh, promo for his rap album, he told Triple H to get out of his way before he smacks his ass and fucks his woman. <laughs> <laughs> Did you enjoy the Macho Man album, by the way, Jim? Oh, I fucking love that shit. I, I had a feeling you would. Be a man, Hogan. Mm -hmm.
Vampire. I, 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 I Macho do, Man. Yeah. I, I fucking. I, 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 yeah. I love his shit. Just He's my favorite. Shit. I love that guy. God damn. <clears throat> Only reason I'm putting this on first because he's the only one with voice meter. Yep. But like, dude, this shit was on Donahue, Geraldo. It was huge for one week. And steroids. Yeah, I, I really don't remember. Like, uh, my memories of like Geraldo and shit was him getting smashed in the face by neo Nazis. <laughs> that's yeah. what everyone like, kind of remembers on that. Yeah, that's and Donahue. I don't even remember what his shows were. I just remember he had a habit of like almost leaning over like a Michael Jackson kind of fucking thing and sticking a mic in somebody's face. Yeah, he kind of got close with the mic, didn't he? Yeah, he'd be like, uh, and how do you feel about that? And then he'd lean over 40 feet to fucking get right next to him. It's really weird. So uh, he, He's a bit he's a bit of a touchy-feely guy. He's weird. And he posted that weird Downey. nude. I love Morton Downey. That is one of the many inspirations for the Kumite. I, I, I enjoyed him until he uh, tried to draw a swastika on his forehead backwards in a mirror. <laughs> Did he? What? I missed that. God yeah, damn. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> I need that. I need to go find that one. Yeah, he's like, I've been the victim of a hate crime. They they tattooed my face with a swastika, and then the reporters are like, uh, "Why is it backwards?" And <laughs> he's, he's like, "What?" <laughs> he's like, "What?" Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he drew it fucking backwards like a schmuck. Was he's yeah, because he's looking mirror. in a mirror. He did it in a mirror, so it was backwards. He's a fucking idiot. Uh, it was a terrible play. Have you ever seen the Morton Downey on whether or not wrestling is real or fake? Yeah. <laughs> No, I don't think I've seen that one. I, oh, that's I, I the watched, best. I, I watched a shit ton of. Um, oh, who the fuck was it? Richard Bay. Like nobody remembers him. He was great. He was so fucking know. mean, which is I, which is why I loved him. Like if he had uh, like a fat chicks come onto stage, there'd be like an oinking sound that would play. Um, <laughs> like he was just he was fucking brutal with his guests. Mm -hmm. He would just mock them relentlessly for no reason. Uh, he would because... make people just mud wrestle for no reason. It's just amazing what he would get away with. Hey, Jim, you're old enough. Maybe you remember this uh, part of internet culture. Do you remember fat chicks and party hats? No, I don't remember fat oh, chicks and party hats. That is old internet. That that was like so, one of the, like, they had so many fat people on that website that were, they would email the, the website and then, like, he would put their, like, it was early on in the internet, so every time that these people would put uh, pictures up on whatever Angel Fire or Geo City, this guy would come along and like download the picture and then like put these obnoxious captions, and then like he would send uh, emails to the people that he would uh, upload the pictures of, and then they would send emails back to him, and then he would have these exchanges. If you get a chance, look uh, look up fat chicks and party hats. One of the greatest memes of like early. It's kind of like failure in his two buttholes. You're missing out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I would have. I would have preferred to live my entire life without seeing that. I'm just saying. The first meme I remember on the internet, he ate my. That was the original fucking meme. Everybody was passing that around. Everybody had their own version of it. God hmm. damn, I'm getting. Yeah. Yeah, shit's changed, man. Yeah, it's no, uh, no, it's no, definitely no. changed. Now people take you you just saying I'm I'm a pro wrestler as a threat. <laughs> I don't know, dude. Every, everybody's got way too hypersensitive. That's that's one of the main fucking issues. Nobody can banter anymore. Everybody's all fucking just happened? up their own ass. The world was so it, it, cool. It, it's a fucking direct result of a, it's like I think it's like a result of like three things, right? Like helicopter parents, right? Mm -hmm. Um, and then social media narcissism, because like you're just so up your own ass in your own world, mm -hmm. and just safe space ideology. So you got like these three things coming together, and like everybody, nobody wants to be offended. They all want to be told how great they are. Give me a like, give me a favorite, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, tell me I'm great. Uh, nobody can handle being told you're a fucking moron. That's the internet I remember. I love that internet where you could just go onto yeah. a forum and scream at each other, and it was the best shit ever. Oh, uh, that flame wars that lasted for days on forums. Someone sends you, or someone's like, hey, type in this URL. You go to it and go, nope. No, I think I'll pass on this one. When did you, when did you get to where you were like, okay, I, I want to start poking fun at this shit? Because somebody showed me a stream where you were with somebody and you were just taking the piss out of somebody cooking, and I laughed my ass off. Uh, well, like, I, I, I was big on stage six, uh, which was like 2006. 
uh, and then YouTube oh. 2007. It, it was like video streaming was kind of what did it for me, at least in the form I do it now. But before that, it was just forum <laughs> posting. You, you go on a forum and just make fun of shit. That that I kind of miss. Like now everybody's got like terms of service through the people that are providing like their fucking, uh, you know, URL address and their their fucking servers and shit. You can't really do half the stuff you used to be able to do. And they'll yank the shit out from under you, whether or not the website's fine with it. The fucking provider will be like, nah, fuck it. Yeah, if you get enough complaints, yeah, they'll shut it down. Like, oh, it's only a few that are like um, grandfathered in, like something awful, I guess, because it's been around yeah. for fucking seventeen years at this point, oh, uh, wow. and stuff like that. But uh, you know, a lot of other sites just can't. If you try to make a forum now, you're gonna get crushed. I remember Newgrounds and something awful. Something awful. We're at war. <laughs> Newgrounds. Yeah, they're still around. Oh, they would, yeah, they would just, they would flame each other in the comment sections for stealing each other's videos. <laughs> Don't you dare steal my flash. Yeah. <laughs> what, what is this puppy? It's why tumbling downstairs. Me, why, why are you <laughs> showing me, why are you showing me a puppy falling downstairs? What's wrong with you? I, I've never seen it before. He, he, he just wanted to get up the stairs. Look, look at the little guy. He just wants to get up the stairs, and he and he failed. Ah, oh, fuck! It just, it. It just all went bad right there. Puppies, puppies bounce. Apparently, they're like bumbles. <laughs> I'm gonna do something real quick. Oh, there's the Pascal. I don't care about that. All right, <laughs> this is a th that thing I told you about. Roddy Piper, before he died, he sat down and explained how Pat Patterson had apparently raped him. Just so, like, uh, Roddy Piper lied about his age to get into wrestling. Uh, he was only 15 when he was working for the WWF. And if you go back and look now when he was, like, teaming with David Schultz, yeah, he looks like a kid. But uh, he admitted that Pat Patterson had raped him right before he died. And then this Fucking was Fucking shit, really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Failure, grab this and play it real quick. Like it's Pat Patterson, Lord Alfred Hayes. Oh fuck! I probably uh, you probably like Lord Alfred if you watch the old stuff. He was the British guy on commentary. Yeah, this you're fucking me up a little bit here, man. I gotta be honest with you. <laughs> I can't believe you didn't know this. Like this seems like gym shit. Well, I mean, I know people lie about their fucking age and shit to get into the business. Like that doesn't surprise me about Piper. Uh, who was the fucking guy? The he was a big motherfucker. Uh, he must have been 300 pounds. Uh, he went into a match. Oh, uh, Mass Transit. You're talking about Mass Transit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The tr mass Transit. And so he was like, yeah, go ahead and cut me. And he you want to know how I met New Jack? Do you want to know how I met fucking New Jack? J j just picture, imagine this. Picture this. Invited to a baby shower. And you walk in and New Jack's there. <laughs> I said a baby shower New Jack. Or Jerome. He was Jerome there. <laughs> and he kept telling everybody, he said, I ain't New Jack there. I'm Jerome. God, I fucking read up on that guy too. Uh, Mass Transit. Insane. Did. Oh, he's uh, dead. Oh yeah, Mass Transit's dead. I thought you were talking about New Jack. No, no, yeah, he yeah. died from a, a fucking uh, gastric bypass or something. Yeah. <laughs> like a, a year after he lost his case against New Jack. Oh, New Jack ended up uh, beating the shit out of an old man named Gypsy Joe in front of people in Tennessee while they're all you know chanting "Hang the nigger!" Like he's beating him in the head with a ball bat, and you can hear the ball bat binking off of the eighty-year-old. <laughs> New Jack is a bad motherfucker. There's also videos of him straight up just holding somebody in a guillotine choke and stabbing him over and over in the back during a wrestling match with, with some stabby stabby. Some New Jack don't play. Going on. No, he's insane. I went into a baby shower and saw him and I was like, oh god, I don't need this shit in my life. <laughs> because I, they're like, wrestlers will be there. It'll just be some wrestlers. It's just some guys I know. Don't worry about it. And I usually I'm like, well, who? what are the names? And I'm definitely like that fucking now. I, I don't want to walk up in a thing and be at a party with New Jack. I don't want to party with New Jack. I don't need that. I don't need that at all. No New Jack parties? Fuck no. But he seems so cuddly. Faye, I'll give you a dollar to play like the first 30 seconds of that video that, that I put over there. It'll be That's the, uh, the Ring Boy one? Yeah. It's Roddy Piper. Oh, I'll, probably, I, I'll be honest with you. I'm probably going to watch it while I eat breakfast. No, oh. No. Okay. You know, like, since I was 15, I've been in this business. And uh, when you're young in this business, it can be very difficult. Were you forced to? No, no, my fuck that. No, it's just uh, it's a hard business. You see it go on all the time. It is, uh, all right, I end up uh, dangling it. I forgot. This is back when I was like allegedly structuring videos. 
allegedly. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, throw, throwing the hook out to keep them interested. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's you motherfucker! It's wrestling. Yeah. Look, just, <laughs> just go to, just to, just go to the Grapple Vision channel and find stuff. Did, did any of these guys end up doing any time? To, did this ever come to anything? Phillips and Garvin did, but Pat Patterson, he was able to get off. Uh, Pat Patterson also fucked on richer than most people and also wasn't a U.S. citizen. I, I, I'm sure he got off. Pat Patterson did get off. Yeah, multiple times. <laughs> All right, so let me see. When did... uh? So three months ago. Three months ago is when... Oh, was that... Uh, yeah, let me let me get your opinion on this. Was that shoot that uh, Piper did on Russo, was that legit? Was shooting in the ring? Yeah, well, no, when he went up to him and said, are you responsible for uh, uh, Owen's death? Oh. Uh, ish. Uh, uh, Piper does. A lot of people do believe that Vince Russo is responsible for it because he's the one who booked that thing. He's the one who got them to go buy that specific harness. He's the one who told them not to worry about testing that harness. That shit was nowhere. It was like what was that? Like eighty pound test? I'm. Is, I, I may be off by ten or two, ten or twenty. It, it was something retarded like that. Yeah, yeah it was eighty pound fucking test. Owen's head. a two. Yeah, Owen's two hundred and fucking thirty pounds. Jesus okay, uh, Tommy Rich, my hero. That's a good one. Um, I love, I love Tommy, Tommy Rich. Rich. He's a great man. I love Tommy Rich Thanks. so much. Uh, Faggot. Gotta the keep these homos out of the locker room, Billy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, there's a Jim Cornette video. There we go, Tim Horner. <laughs> oh yeah, I've got I've got a couple of Jim Cornette videos. I've got one where Jim Cornette explains a bunch of shoot incidents that happened back in the day. I also have John Travolta from when he was hitting on Kevin Nash behind the scenes in The yeah. Punisher. <laughs> Yo. I, don't, I was just trying to make funny wrestling videos. Uh, this was when I was taking care of my stepdad, and he was on oxygen and shit, and I had to, like, sit there all the time. So I was just on an iPad, and I was just, like, connecting videos together. It's not even fancy, like, video editing. It's just, like, clip, clip, clip. Except for the Lex Express. Mm -hmm. If you know who Lex Luger is, Billy. Yeah. Yeah. You will love those. Those are the only videos I push like that because, yeah, those are wonderful videos. Uh, somebody he, help me make those. They're he great. actually kind of has a pseudo religion. Mm. Lugerism. Hello, Luger. Uh, Hello, Luger. Th this video right here with the swastika is where. That's when I met failure. failure. Uh, I heard his uh, channel he got taken down. That's when I first even met who failure was. Yeah, I and was already a, a fan of your channel, I was already subscribed. So have you have you stopped doing the wrestling stuff these videos altogether then? Well, yeah. Well, what's my stepdad? It, I was in a different like mindset. I, I wasn't even going to work. That like we had all kind of stopped life to take care of him because he got real bad real quick. So I was doing this. It was a different mindset and shit. And once it got to like twenty seven thousand and shit, it was like God, it's so big. And like I can't I can't do like a stream and just talk to a chat or anything. And so I was like, okay. Yeah, that didn't work out for you. Not even, I know, you, could, I... you could fucking stretch well, a bunch of people. Strangely, <laughs> someone kept pushing it out. So. <clears throat> yeah, I had a, I had a bunch of friends who were, uh, who were doing wrestling stuff, and they've been working at this shit a lot longer than I had. And I was like, okay, well, guys, I have this platform, take it, because. Like, yeah. But uh, yeah, so I, I ended up starting talk, talking to Tatanka because. Uh, I was like, oh, God damn, you're actually aware of who, who I am? Well, I, I want to talk to you then. And and he was like, yeah, but people people don't want to hear me. People, nah, don't don't be silly. Just jump on here. Just 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 jump on here. It'll, it'll be a harmless stream. And then one week later, he's he's yelling at Keemstar. <laughs> well, that, that was uh, that was after he told Wizard of Cause that he was a failed actor. Yeah, I was never not. That's the other thing. People are saying I went soft on Jeff Holiday and all those people. This is weird. And they keep saying I'm a skeptic. There is. There it is. The wrestling channel. That, that's what I did. And then I did a little bullshit morning show. Did you ever hear the, the ogre one, uh, Jim? No, I, I was going to say, they, they, like I said, they, they want to box you in. man. A lot of the dynamics of fucking YouTube for like the last two or three years have been uh sjws are skeptics it's really fucking weird yeah. i just i think everybody's i'm i'm so tired of that shit yeah i'm yeah, just it's so fucking is boring at this point yeah i'm a wrestler with a morning show right, actually here, i'm a go. car salesman uh, not even a car salesman i own car lots and do a morning show at this point 
Hmm. Yeah, people just want to be fucking entertained. I, I, I just, I want this cycle to be over with. They, like, I, 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 it's been fun while it lasted, but I'm ready to move on to more interesting shit. Yeah. Th- this is this is from May 21st. This is when failure Talk decided he was never going to stop bringing me. Guitars, you goofy piece of shit. <laughs> what Who the fuck is that? Guitar? That's Ogre. That's the first guy who tried to dox me and was doxing based mama. Because by the way, I used to know I used to know her and like yeah. apparently he's trying to dox based mama and a bunch of other people in the chat and shit. And he was showing his dick to girls and like hangouts and shit. As soon as they go off air, he'd be like, Hey, check out my dick. And it's just being weird to married where being a genuine piece of shit, threatening people with, you know, I'll dox you if you make a big deal out of me doing that. You know, don't tell people how much of a piece of shit I am. Just everything bad about the internet. That is the best way to describe it. Now, how come nobody recorded him flashing his cock and then put it up? They like, did. No, no, no. no. They, they, all right, here's what's unfortunate, Jim. This is this is me very early in the game and being very, very brazen. He keeps saying, oh, well, that didn't happen. That didn't happen. I said, are you sure about that? Are you sure about that? If it happened, can I post it? Can I post it? Guess what I posted, Jim? You posted his cock? Yep. Yeah, damn right I did. Both screenshots. Goddamn right. No, no, no. See, I, see what I would have done. Is recorded it and then put some gay porn music on it and then uploaded it on like Pornhub and Xvideo. I think the guy who originally and then took immortalized the it forever. Guys. Well, I think we've still we've still got. It. I'm pretty sure we've still there, got. There it. wasn't there wasn't much to see. There really too. wasn't. I'll it put was, it this way: it he time. he compared it to a bic lighter to one girl. Yeah, and then she said the small kind. He pulls out so, a big see, you, you don't understand the humor of how, how this works. I've seen this happen to one other guy, uh-huh. bigger guy, uh, was into doing some creepy shit. And so they got him, they got a, a video of him, uh, you know, like creeping on some people. Uh, and they uploaded it on a bunch of porn sites. But in the comments, they put down, uh, you know, like hourly rates for fat fetish Skype calls mm-hmm. and then linked all his social media to it. So then oh. he had a bunch of really horny perverts contacting him like daily. Like, I'll pay you $100 to, like, rub butter on your tits and shit like that. Uh, it drove him fucking crazy. This is a great face right here. <laughs> this was the first time I ever, like, really lost my shit on something. It was, but there's a really nice lady who just, like, makes hey, cooking, man. I'm a mom videos, and he was fucking with her really hard. And I okay. found this out, like, 45 seconds before failure brought me into the chat. Yeah, and definitely. failure is yeah, exa- Stuff yeah. like this is <laughs> the most fun. I mean, when it's a really small thing. Well, yeah, Billy, run into the craziest people. What makes this? So, the, what makes it the best is because failure's announcement of bringing me in is like, let me get, let me get Tonka in here because he's really cool headed, and he'll be the voice of reason. <laughs> I guy, proceeded to scream the, for the next hour and a half. The other, the other guy that wanted to come on was the guy that he was, you know, saying he was he, he had flagging and doxing. And, yeah. yeah. So I was like, all right, Tonka would be the smarter choice because Tonka's not going to instantly yell at him, but you know. Tonka. Oh, the ogre, the ogre guy was threatening that shit. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But he, he was shit talking to me and Tonka. So that's why we were like, all right, you fucking, you're shit talking us. Why don't you come on a stream and do it on air instead of fucking, like, here's the thing. Me and Tonka, we we're just like, fucking fine. Fucking come do it on air. Why, 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 why waste do it? it in a comment section? Mm hmm. Right. Right, yeah, so I had, some- uh, when I did those Ross videos, uh, he had a couple of friends of fucking Nuclear Gamer and Red Bandito and all this shit. They're like, "Oh, we're gonna, we're gonna super hack you if you make fun of us." All right. Th- this is right when Tonka arrives. When Pencher oh. in. Oh, so the Greek sa- the geek says Og- Ogre has always been nice to me. So you have some fans out there. Hey, Tonka. I've actually got a shitload of Boy. fans out there. Oh my god, I remember. They're probably not on this channel, yeah. but I do have a shitload of, of, I don't know, fans. I wouldn't call them fans. Yeah. I would just call them church members, or I, I prefer to uh, consider them the congregation. But what, what have you watched with my subs and, I think he has um, 800 subs and like 20 consistent viewers. In four months there, uh, skull face fucker. <laughs> Oh, is it, you two were the best of friends right from the start, huh? Oh, yeah, huh? yeah, but they're just peachy keen. <laughs> well, he he thought he wanted it. to. Yeah. In, in five months, I had almost 20,000 subs in five million wow, look how lucky you are. Uh, M- Magog did like I know, and I still have all like my a hair. couple days, bro. You're so fucking cool, cool, man. I bet in the real world, no, you get laid every day. Don't- By the way, I hate the Magog thing. I hate the Magog thing. <laughs> Failure's the reason why Magog got the sub. 
But everybody else gets credit. Like I found McGog when he had like eighty subs, and I like fucking pushed him hard. For uh, him. I, I don't know. I, I don't know if I know who that is. Who's that? He's a guy who dresses. He dresses like He's a the wizard. wizard that got doxxed with all of us in the crowd server. That's the other thing. I wish we could get more than Chambers saying the stuff about the crowd server. Wait, also, wait are, we ta- are we talking about the fucking wizard thing. guy from yeah. the last stream? Like yeah. No, 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 no. Other wizard. Not that wizard. Yeah. God damn that wizard. No, a guy that plays a wizard as a character, not as, uh, you know, fucking... Not as oh, character. God, is this, like, creationist cat kind of thing? Uh, yeah, Almost. Uh, he, no, I uh, told him it was... Cre- I, told, I told him I didn't dig it. I told him I didn't dig it. <laughs> oh, God, the Marty stream. I'm a good dude, but I would punch a baby for two billion times. Really, of all the things you pick to show people, you, you go to all the, like, unfascinating... No, just, it's my God. Just, just to show him real quick of uh, the dude and his fucking... Makeup and everything. You should have quit pushing Maga- pushing Maga- He has makeup. Yep. He oh plays a necromancer God. reacting to things in the, the oh, regular realm. The same shit push. everybody oh, does. Come on. Come on. Fuck this. No, turn this off. Thank you, Jim. Yeah, Thank I'm, you. I, by the way, I quit. I quit the at, show least, at least it was a little I'm bit more quitting. creative at the time when everybody just had fucking avatars. Well, at least now I know who the amazing atheist stole his bit from. I, I thought it was Jim Sterling, but it looks like he ripped it. <laughs> yeah, he saw Magog and apparently Jack. Yeah, he fucking robbed him completely. He stole his whole bit. So, so when I found the dude, he only had eighty subscribers, and you know, had like three jobs as a janitor, and uh, now he's making like what. Almost fifteen hundred on uh, Patreon plus roughly, yeah. yeah. Well, I'm, I'm glad he's making money doing what he likes to do, but uh, I just I've well, never uh, been fond of the whole "here's my character" shit on uh, YouTube. The problem, the problem I have with that is that he credits the Logic as being oh. the one that got him to where he is. Even after uh, I joined a show with him, I'm still not in the featured channels. Yeah. Okay. No, well, you know, the I mean, stuff we do. He wants everyone to do stuff like he does with the scripts and the characters and but shit. I, I refuse. Get that. that shit's weak. I refuse to script mm-hmm. shit. Crowd told me that subscriber uh, boost. Oh, that was. I can't do it. I was, I was so glad that you're going to talk to me. <laughs> Are you talking about uh, Crowd and T? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you I and him were doing an interview, apparently. No, they were going to do an interview. He fucking backed out of it, so I just... Um, yeah. But basically, uh, it, everything that you did, uh, like, I did, like, like a... Wait, are, are you talking about the, the interview tomorrow? That was you? Nope. That was supposed, was supposed to, to be doing it with me a week ago, but because I kept telling him I was going to call him out on certain things, I kept backing out of it. Failure, can you tell Billy about your experience having a conversation with Kraut the other night? Magog Magog wanted to, I mean, uh, fucking, no, not Magog. uh, No one wanted me and him to have a sit down with uh, Kraut because Kraut uh, was uneasy because unknown wanted to do the thing on on my channel without me being involved. Wait, wait, I I just want to make sure I've got this right. So the stream that was supposed to happen tomorrow, that was you and it's not happening. No, that, yeah. the stream that's happening tomorrow is up. someone else that he decided to dodge me in a comfortable. Oh, okay. somebody that was in his server. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, I from his server. Yeah, the, the, uh, that's that's what I had heard. That's why I was asking. I was like, oh, okay, because uh, mm-hmm. the the thing that always struck me weird about Crowd is, um, I touched on it a little bit in the video, but he got a like he got retweeted by PewDiePie and everything, mm-hmm. uh, and got a like a shout out and stuff. But if you go look at his sub numbers, he never really got a boost from that, which is really fucking bizarre. Yeah. It's because he's Kraut. PewDiePie people go and look at that, and it's like, oh my god. This is not what I'm into. <laughs> my, my fucking shower curtain got more of a fucking boost than fucking Kraut. <laughs> oh my god. The shower curtain. By the way, Jim, some, I, 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 I put up a shower curtain for sale for 100 bucks, and somebody bought it with my avatar. So you got the worst ADD. Making that cash. Nice. Yeah, and then PewDiePie right. retweeted it because failure through shame. Right. <laughs> or he right, retweeted, he liked it. <laughs> All right, let, let, let me get back to the fucking yeah, go. me here, Tonka Yo. Oh, yeah. Don't you, dude? You're so fucking cool. Rock and well, roll. I do have bro. all my hair. I still have enough testosterone. I don't, I don't have all my hair, but I got an eight inch cock. I know you don't. Suck it. 
Well, I don't know, bro. KP, I've I've seen your cock because you pull it out <laughs> on streams. Right, it's gonna about go, four and a half. It's gonna be a dog piled out, and I could sit here and troll all you. Oh no, go ahead and talk. Uh, please, please talk. Me talk. And then oh, I got oh, don't get dick slapped, slapped, bro. Run, coward. He's got don't ten thousand subs, and he's way smarter than no, me. No, 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 don't moron. let your fucking dick lick her and run like a fucking bitch boy. This is really productive, isn't it? Hey, bitch. This is so productive. Don't fucking run. Can't be not productive, you little bitch. Why don't you go fuck your mother again, you fucking piece of shit? Why don't you grow some hair, you lack of testosterone little punk? You fucking you fucking bitch. I bend you over and fuck that. You want my address? Come on. Come do it. 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 Is this being recorded, Taylor? This is failure. This Come do it. Is this being recorded? Yeah, yeah. Threat, yeah, awesome, threaten me with, like, court recording. action for saying to come get me, boy. Come get me. Come show me. Come show me how tough you are. <laughs> show me how fucking tough you are. Come on, I want to see it. Looks. <laughs> I, I love when, when people call that shit out and then they never follow. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, he's like, I'm going to come kick your ass. Okay, come find me. Well, I was, uh, maybe I'll not. Give me my address. <laughs> the, the point, right, Taka right. offered to pay no, for the flight. Yeah, Jim, you don't understand. We, we, were to, to, oh, I'm sorry. we were trying to get a, we were, we were trying to get fucking like a fight set up with a uh, Brooklyn, <laughs> Brooklyn blogger, the, or a Brooklyn Bronx blogger. blogger. <laughs> Bronx blogger. The Bronx blogger the other day. The Brooklyn blogger. Uh, yeah. Tonka was legit with him. Like, would have would have gave him a month, would have fucking flown him out and everything. He, he's still on 13 months. He, he's, still, he's, he's still like, yeah, it's going to happen in 13 months. It's never going to happen. It's never going to happen. Yeah, it's never going to happen. He's hoping 13 months from now he'll forget completely. That's what the goal is. He wants you to forget. And I'm like, dude, this is a lot of money to just take 15 minutes of a possible beating from failure. Because I don't know how bad failure will want to be. Taka, why don't you make a little timer that just counts down the months on your fucking stream? You can keep it up there until 13 months goes by. Just to remind him that you haven't forgot. Can we get a timer that I could just stick in the streams? Yeah, I can set that up. Oh, sweet. I know. Oh, goddamn. Okay. Just yeah, as a little it. nod to him, like, I haven't forgotten. I'll see you then. Yeah. No, but Tonka, then. Like, if it's going to be 13 months, then he's going to be facing Tonka. Yeah. If I, had, I said, if I have to months. wait a fucking year, then you're going against me, motherfucker. <laughs> God, if you could set up YouTube fights, you, I, that would be that's the most amazing well, thing. That's, that's what that's we wanted. Goal. That's what we wanted to do a while. I got into this and fucking Keemstar came on. I said, God, how much money could we draw if we started live streaming some YouTuber fights? <laughs> That, I've been that, would, that, that would be some next level shit. I'll be YouTuber honest. It is, and we're so close because we keep getting one person who's willing, one person who's willing, and I know what that is. I know how fights work. I've been in this game forever and a day. One person's always going to be scared, and one person's always going to be confident because they just look at the size, especially when you're dealing with people who aren't trained. Mm-hmm. That's just how it is, you know. Mister Repsion's going to look at a fucking, you know, like even he'll look at Monday and Matt. Okay, I don't want to fight Matt because Matt's bigger than me. My name Matt looks like Johnny Fox. I don't want to fight him. The Bronx, the the Bronx blogger, has three inches on me. He's six five. Has three inches on you. He's six five. <laughs> I mean, what was the problem? But he's the Bronx blogger. That's the problem. I can take all. I'm just, somebody, somebody is eventually going to. We're going to get two people to agree. It's going to happen eventually. Just make sure to throw the video up on live leaks, because that that'll stay. It'll be immortal then. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, we're gonna stream the fuck out of it. I mean, it's a sanctioned fight. You get like SFL has a thing with YouTube. They they stream sanctioned fights. It's sanctioned. It's not gonna have no problems. Mm-hmm. I'll get it sanctioned. And I oh, think see, I, I was picturing like a fucking street fight. That's that's what I thought we we're talking about here. Well, if we go street fight, somebody's gonna do something stupid. And then that's it, what he, makes street fights so much more appealing. They are more appealing and they will probably happen before or after they get there, because that's what I bet will happen. They'll bump into each other before they get there or after they get there. And yeah, like, I remember, uh, you know, who Mike Cernovich is on Twitter. I do. Uh, he kept I challenging remember. people to boxing matches. And nobody would take him up on it. And he finally was talking to some dude who was interested in it. I remember tweeting him and saying, why don't you pussies just have a fucking street fight? Why is it always this boxing match yet? Nobody wants to watch you box because I've seen Internet boxing, boxing matches. Sucks. And yeah. they're just yeah. awful. After just watching Low Tex and Uwe Bowl box was just painful to watch. I just want to watch two a people fight. beat the shit out of each other. That's yeah. what I'm looking for. When I say sanctioned, I'm not yeah. looking for sanctioned boxing. I, I, I've i never been in the boxing game, but I could get, I have a promoter's license in like three fucking states. That's why, I, in case you could tell, that's why I said Memphis specifically, because I can get shit rolling there quick. 
but uh, like I, I would sanction a fight. I, I wouldn't, it wouldn't be a boxing match. It would be a fight. But you know, not necessarily a street fight. There's a lot of lawsuits can come out of this. Well, would you would you end up right away with somebody like the Bronx Blogger, or would you would, you, would you play with him? I'm not yeah, gonna lie, you... the Bronx Blogger is too big for me to play with. I don't want to do something stupid. Yeah, I would try to end him quick. I would try. Yeah, to but if you end it quickly, out. how is Andy gonna read out those super chats <laughs> while this is going on? That's a good point. Like somebody like Destiny, I won't lie, I would toy with him. It would it would look masochistic. It would be bad. Uh, somebody like Vadim, I would fuck with him. It would be fucking bad. Uh, somebody like Bronx Blogger, just based off of his size and not wanting to take the risk, I would I'd have to put him down quick because I just I'm not even not even gonna risk it. See, I, I don't know what the Bronx Blogger looks like. Is this just a big guy or is this a big uh, guy? Six five fight? Shrek looking motherfucker. I, I don't yeah, think he yeah. can fight, but he's just he's a big guy, and if I fuck up, he could get down on top of me, and it would be a whole lot to get out. For. I just I wouldn't risk it. I'd put him down quick. Oh uh, fuck, where is he? I don't, I don't remember what his fucking stupid ass name is. That's the thing. I'll be honest. Yes, I do treat fights with people bigger than me, different than people smaller than me. 100% because I fight. <laughs> or I, I don't yeah, know. You'd I be fought. fucking stupid not to, yeah. Exactly. This is, what, this is the shit that idiots say. It's fucking, you know, Bruce Lee can beat anybody. Bruce Lee was an actor. And he was flexible. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm sure he was good. I'm sure he was a shit kicker, but he oh, was yeah. an actor. Fuck. Okay, you you ruined the illusion of, of you being done. I'm to I'm me. in on this internet fucking fist fight shit. Fuck yeah. I wanna I put me down like for being on that roster. Somebody wants to like if you get an on the gun or somebody out there that's oh. your account is suspended. Uh oh. No, the Bronx blogger is No, yeah, he oh. got suspended. Oh, oh maybe he got flagged just... a bunch. <laughs> By the way, oh, motherfucker tried to call me. Motherfucker tried to call me a racist. He said a lot of really <laughs> racist things. Hey, here's the funny thing, uh, too, Medica. Repsion spread my docs around and was like, mm -hmm. oh, this is the guy who was threatening me. Repsion, yeah, yes! I, I saw Andy call out Repsion for like a half an hour, 45 fucking minutes, and he didn't respond to it. And then I put up quotes, uh, you know, uh, tweets quoting him. Didn't mm -hmm. respond to any of those either. He completely dodged oh. out on that conversation. I, 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 he got I called a, out. I had a DM. I had a really DM conversation with him where, where he just fucking pussyfooted around. Well, no, it's it's not, not a dox a... because he's mean. That's what everybody's essentially boiling it down to. Not a dox because he's mean. Mm -hmm. yeah, they're, all, they're all going with the ethical doxing fucking bullshit. I'm fine with it. This person was mean. Ethics and doxing. That's Ethics lovely. and doxing. <laughs> That's their thing. Ethics and doxing. Ethics and doxing. That should have been the name of one of the videos in the crowd series. <laughs> The fuck <laughs> this is what failure does with his life i don't know but yeah it's it's like it's not about like money or any of this shit for me i'm not i was not trying to get famous or i would have probably stuck with the giant channel i had and not lip you know left the shit there for months and then gave it to somebody else i just wanted to do like this weird morning radio show for the fucking working man that was it I, I would enjoy it while you can man you're gonna catch that popularity wave uh because people like the show and I think it's a it's a new a new cycle on YouTube. So you'll be one of the first ones to kind of be doing it. Mm -hmm. You got like a good three four years of it. You can make a lot of money, bank that shit away, and have a nice little nest egg aside from the normal shit you do. You think this shit will last for three or four years? Oh yeah. This specific format of streaming like this and doing this kind of presentation, you bet your ass it will. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. My my. I thing thought is, I'd be uh, done in like two months. <laughs> I want I want to get back to like when I used to have a podcast. I used to have fucking just regular fucking people that actually did shit on uh, like people that did documentaries like when we brought on Tara La Rosa uh oh, fucking shit. Mickey Monday who used to fly cocaine from fucking South America to to Miami dudes like that fucking you know people who fight people who actually do shit not somebody like fucking Destiny that just sits in a fucking chair hunched over all day and gets a fucking shitty midget body <laughs> well you can do shows like that too man but it, it's just it's 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 a shift to just being entertaining. You know what I mean? Not having like some kind of ulterior motive behind why you're laughing at some stupid shit or why you're yelling at something. It's just pure entertainment. That's what people fucking want. Yeah, that's going to be around for a while. I really do believe that. All right. So, so you look, uh, you look at it. I just it I would enjoy it while you can. Up. Don't 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 pull like a DSP. DSP thought that shit was going to last a decade for him, and it it, it didn't. He should have <laughs> saved his money. He should have really saved his money when it hit big. Yeah, I, 
the stuff for uh my girl like i got i think last month it was like six thousand dollars ended up coming in off of this stuff yeah i mean that's a great amount of cash and especially at the size of the channel was i mean imagine if you continue to grow throughout the year and you're sitting at eighty thousand at the end of year rather than eight as far as subs go i mean it's just going to exponentially grow Mm -hmm. I mean, Andy's getting to the fucking point where his reading super chats is almost as long as the amount of fucking stream that came before it, which is just insane. Yeah. <sighs> even even though that's fucking great, I, I saw how much he was making at one point with the fucking ads when the ads were good and back when when we when the days were good there. <laughs> yeah, well, we were talking about fucking five figures and and. And that only lasted for like two months, <laughs> so he, he had a taste of it. And when you have a taste of it, that's the fucking worst because you're like, ah, oh, fuck. Yeah, yeah I... he he missed he missed his opportunity with the ad thing. A lot of people got fucked on that, but he's got his opportunity with Super Chat if that's what he wants to do. Oh, he's, he's make making good money doing it. Yeah, yeah, make really good money on it. Chris is. He's really already fixing up. I mean, he's fixing up his fucking studio. He bought a fucking a Bing Bing Wahooey fucking Nintendo Switch and shit. So he's he's happy. He's enjoying himself. <laughs> God, those are terrible. But uh, uh do you like Andy, Jim? Yeah, I think I think I think Andy's a likable guy. I don't really, I, I don't really get like an ulterior motive off of him. You know what I mean? That's that's how I feel. Too. But like people keep telling me, like that he seems like a snake and like all this. Andy to me is the oh. only person in this entire fucking deal who had anything to lose. Yeah. No, yeah, Andy, Andy, Andy is what Andy is. I I really don't get a feeling like he's he's hiding something. No, I could be wrong, Andy, but I don't. Andy, yeah, that, that's what I get. Andy's been down with me since he had fifty thousand subs. It doesn't matter that he has fucking two hundred, whatever. Now and he used to watch the he, there when it was thirty people. Yeah, he's just, he's, you know, I, I think right now he's just, he's probably really happy. He's doing well and he's fucking excited about it and he's really into what he's doing. And that's the feeling I get from him. And I'm, I'm glad for him. I'm glad he found something to work for him. Here's the thing with Andy. Like, I'll let you know. At one point, he was getting tired of fucking fighting with people and he wanted to, like, you know, oh, let's, let's mend some bridges. Let's, uh, you know, talk to Franny and talk to this person and everything. And then he got fucking burnt. <laughs> And, and and now with this thing, he, he's like, I'm tired of, of, you know, just doing what people expect me to do. Let, let me actually talk to some fucking, sure, I'll talk to alt writers and the SJWs. Now this is a fucking problem. So nobody, so he's just saying, fuck everybody. And that's why people are like, oh, why, why is Andy being such a prick? Because you guys are being pricks. Mm-hmm. He's just willing to have a conversation that no one else is willing to have. And people are ready to hear something that they haven't heard a million times. Well, yeah, and, and again, it goes back to people getting pissed off because their way of doing it isn't working. And the thing is, anybody could have done what Andy did. I mean, they could have they could have used that same format. They could have taken that same approach, but he's the one that decided to do it. They didn't. And that's yeah. what pisses them off. Is it's a really like with my like I get a lot of shit, but mine is a really easy format. I talk for a minute, I, I read off a couple things, and then if two people want to fight, I let them. No, it, it, it comes down to showmanship too. I mean. Uh, a lot of people that want to do that kind of stuff either have a fucked up voice, uh, they don't have a good yeah. presence when they're talking, uh, they're not quick-witted, they're not funny, they have bad timing. Like, that shit, which is natural to people that are used to having fucking in-real-life conversations with people, mm -hmm. is missing from a lot of motherfuckers that use the internet. I mean, Andy's got a, a decent flow and stuff, but he's got a bit of a stutter, and he can kind of get hung up on shit. I think that's why it works well when he's got, like, paired with, like, a co-host like JF. Yeah. Because yeah. they can bounce off each other, so there's it makes no, them there's look no even more. The more different they yeah. look, the better the show feels to me. Yeah, and, and they're I definitely feel, different. I, What's I feel, that? I feel, I feel like I'm a, I'm an Opie. <laughs> you feel like you're an Opie? We have this conversation a lot. Failure never wanted to be the Opie, <laughs> and he talks about this all the time. And he says he feels like the Opie. Do you feel like Failure's the Opie, Jim? Uh, well, no. I mean, if you stab Tonka in the back, then you have wouldn't be an you? Opie. Have well, you? Not yet, but, but not yet, but I I do torture him with things, and I do hang up on that people. Since day one. Then. Yeah. That wouldn't be anything new. <laughs> no, the thing the thing with Opie that uh, yeah, like I said, that that's always it, it, I can't wash that away. I hate when people betray each other. That fucks me up. Um, it's one of the I only things that fucks it. me up. Uh, and like I just feel like he threw him under a bus by not having his back. They were friends for yeah. a long fucking time too. Yeah, yeah, it's it, fucked up. It, 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 it soured. It soured after you know a while, and they just fucking pretended. 
to be civil with each other. But as soon as as soon as it went off air, they went they went each each other's ways and. <laughs> Well, yeah, like I heard two or two or three blowups, like uh, within the last, you know, like two years of their run. You know what I mean? Where you could tell there was some fucking venom behind the shit they were saying. Yeah, what well, one of my friends went into in, into the studio one day, and uh, she didn't even know what she was fucking. She was the spark of Jim and Opie having a fucking. When Esther Koo fight. came in and said, "Hey, I talked to Anthony yesterday," and the fucking bomb dropped. Everybody's seen that. Already. <laughs> When Jim and fucking Opie are going at it about that, everybody's yeah. seen that one. But here's a little thing she, she was telling me. One day she was like, you know, taking a picture for Instagram, like, hey, I'm, I'm here on the Opie and Jim show, blah, blah, blah. And all of a sudden, Opie took her to the side and was like, you have to delete that picture. You, you don't have permission to take a picture of me. Fucking hell. <laughs> Unless it's approved. Yeah. Because he's really he's really self conscious about his image. Well, he was always more into the fucking social media shit too than Anthony was. Yeah, like I mean, I remember hearing shows and shit where he would talk about getting bothered by fucking people talking shit on Twitter. Well, Anthony argues with people, but he has fucking fun doing it. Like, yeah, yeah, that's the difference. He'll yell at you and then take a picture of him at a poker table to <laughs> to show like, no, I'm actually actually just fucking having fun and I'll, I'll i'll still shit on you while i'm having fun <laughs> i don't i don't, don't want to hate opie but opie makes me hate opie by being opie and all the little things that he does that remind me so much of people who i can't stand so i end up yeah i i just miss uh jacktober that that was my shit <laughs> i'm really October fucked up since it's gone I wanted to do some. What would a Jocktober be like for fucking YouTube? Because I've been looking at thinking that around in my head. Looking at cringy YouTube channels. No, if you right, were everybody do it, does you, that though. No, you'd have to pick streamers. You'd have to be real specific. You'd have, you'd to, have to pick streamers that do streaming shows, uh, and you'd have to pick just fucking awful ones. Let me find streaming shows. Because like that's what I th that's what I thought I should go for. Well, but like, is there we, really we a big the market? Milo one. <laughs> we did the Milo one, but. He... Well, then he fucking praised the Kumite. <laughs> oh, no, it'd have to be something have different. Than, thing. It, it would have to be different than Milo. You'd have to find... Oh, you're going to be hated for it. <laughs> They're going to think you're such an asshole, but it would be funny. you got to find the small channel that's just fucking awful at what it's doing. Like the, the streamer that just hasn't got the hit that nobody wants to listen to it. That's the shit that you got to look Get for. Get those McStabby pants? Just whatever you can find that's just fucking awful. I, there's a lot of it out there, but one of the issues with YouTube is trying to find live streams and then being able to like sort through them and be like, okay, this channel's shit or this channel's good. Uh, it's always been a bitch with the live stream stuff. Yeah, the, their live section is fucking garbage. Yeah, it's not like Twitch or something where it's easy to pop around and find something. Mm -hmm. I, I go through the live section right now. What does it have? I don't even know how to get there. Streaming site that I can go picked off. Yeah, good luck. <laughs> right, it's it's fucking shit everywhere. Jesus fucking. And then everything that was an alternative is fucking folded. Like Hitbox is gone, and yeah. it, 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 <sighs> Facebook's going to do streaming, but I have no idea how good that's going to be. I heard Bit Shoot's about to die. God, that would that would suck. I mean, first Vid me, then Bit Shoot, and that leaves what YouTube, and I'm probably going to go under. <laughs> Here's the problem. How do I get to the live fucking part of YouTube? What yeah, that's you? that's the, that's the fucking problem. Yeah, good luck. Like you have to actually like search. Like maybe I'll put live. There, there is a way to find. There is a way filter. to do it, but I I cannot fucking for the life of me remember what it is exactly. I'll do a filter where it just puts the live things. But yeah, but then you're gonna get nothing. But this is the this is what really f is fucked up. It's you're gonna get a shit ton of new stuff. And you're gonna get a shit ton of uh, like Asian shit and uh, people playing like Family Guy or Rick and Morty, or shit a like that. Music things. Uh, oh wait, we got a good one here. We got a house thing. Is this something? No, nope. probably nothing. Better. This is garbage. You, you know, you might actually have to go offsite. You might have to go to Twitch to make it work. Not yeah. a lot of people seem to have picked up on doing stuff like this on YouTube. Hey Tonka, I've been talking about this like server and shit that I've been building. all these back end applications 
all, all this stuff that I've been learning and all the people. Uh, it's possible, like, if you want me to put you back with the you could probably up your own. Then you don't have to answer. I mean, but am I, am I that big? Like, I'm not Magog in here trying to say how I'm going to revolutionize the business. No, this is how I view it. You have a, it's, you have a product to offer to that they want. And if you have that and don't provide it, somebody else is but meanwhile, YouTube is going to do everything hard to find. You know that at any point in time, they're going to pull the plug on this. You know, the, the second they get hired, the, the first time you take on somebody they don't like, somebody who bumps the status quo, you're going to get cut off, and, and it's going to suck, and it's going to be pissy. But then, like, you're going to watch, you know, you're not off your number. And, but it, it's fucking bullshit. Like, people need to find ways to platform own. Like, you know, all in one websites. Here you go. Here's a server box. Do shit. Pay for your bandwidth. You figure. Oh, you, you yeah, figure but it, if, if you set something like that up, you have to have uh, audience interaction. If they know, can't comment in real time, it, it's going to fall flat on its ass. <clears throat> but it does, I mean, it does work. Look at Murdoch Murdoch. People like their videos, uh, but the problem is they keep getting flagged down from YouTube. So they went to uh, some guy's website, uh, Cheeky Videos or something like that, which is just dedicated to basically streaming their shit. <laughs> so that's everybody goes off-site to watch it now. You, you'll probably appreciate this, Jim. Uh, I had a community guideline. I got so frustrated. It, they're local to where I am, so like I just figured, hey, what would happen if I just walked in the front door? <laughs> So I walked in the front door and did a video of me walking around inside of you and me getting escorted away by security. <laughs> that was one of yeah, the Yeah, the community strike shit is just, uh, it, it gets out of hand. I mean, I had a video flag that was flagged for, uh, fuck, it, since the second crowd video, so like 30 days. One? Yeah, yeah, they put it back up, though. All right. My test monster video got flagged in one day. That was fun. Yeah, it's weird some of the shit that they'll they'll do. But I, I think they put it back up because at the very beginning of the video, it's uh, Ross saying, I'm going to flag that video no matter what. Fuck you, fuck you. <laughs> so I, I'm sure the guy reviewing it was probably like, oh, okay, I get Did it. Do you have any experiences with that guy after that, all the video sagas that went on? There? Like, is he gone? Oh, so uh, what happened with him was his grandmother took his computer away for like four months. <laughs> um, he had to like go into therapy and do all this other shit. Uh, but then he came back, and he went right back to his old Twitter handle and started talking shit again. Really? Uh, and then people jumped on his ass right away, so he deleted the Twitter. But then he started doing streams. And from what I hear, uh, what ended up happening was that chick that believed him, you know, the one that was always, ex you know, yeah, exposing his innocence. Uh, he basically was in a stream with her talking about, uh, like, child porn fanfics that he wrote. Uh, and the, I, apparently that's the moment she realized, holy shit, he really is what everybody was saying he is, and she cut contact with him. Really? Yeah, yeah. Once she heard his stories, once he started talking about, like, rape fantasies with seven and eight-year-olds, uh, she was like, okay, that that's too much. Hmm. Holy shit. I didn't know it went like that. I, I, I didn't know that's no. how that ended up going. Well, the, the guy was fucking nuts. I mean, in the, the second, the follow-up video I did to that, uh, he was in a stream where he's talking about, like, yeah, you know what? I'm just going to go hurt little girls and I want to shoot up a fucking school and you know nobody's going to stop. Like he he the the dude is he's got some shit going on. It, it, the thing is it reminds me of Nick Bates. Like nobody took him seriously and then it turned out he was molesting his little sister for 8 years. Yeah. Oh, anyway, so far you're wrong about the Twitch. This this stuff That'll is be pretty destiny. good. I guarantee fucking destiny will be He, if he if he's that adamant concept of certain things should be legal that you know, the entirety of oh, go, have already look, said he, no for it, real it, you he let he let little bits out uh like the esports uh child porn rings I uh, he oh he yeah no I remember help. that 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 he she he I still think he should be the guy to break that story holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> He can't help but say shit because he thinks he's always right about shit. So you got to let him talk. The only reason I wasn't letting him talk tonight is I keep him distracted. And also wasn't really too keen on him saying any of my information 
over the time. Like, I uh, I can't. Yeah, no, I get it. You had you had a lot of shit dumped on you. you. You know, I get it. It's a normal reaction. Most people would react that way. Yeah. Muting him here is not like killing his free speech. Like he's like my free speech. No, it's fucking no. I but just just be aware. He's gonna try to bait your ass. He's gonna try to say shit to just intentionally wind you up because he he wants to he wants his revenge for all the midget jokes. Oh no, I think he wants revenge because uh, all the stuff that ended up coming out over that stream where the guardians feeding me information. I mean, you were there, and that he ended up looking yeah, no, really he, he, fucking he hates bad. The, he hates the guardian. Yeah. And they, that's that's turned into an interesting hate for me. And he wants to pretend he doesn't have it. That's fine. You know, the next Thank time you man. end up on a stream with him, you should bring the Guardian on. Because he legitimately fucking hates him. Is it because he's the one who had found all that shit for the Naked 8 video? Uh, yeah, it's that. And I, I just think Guardian just just personally dislikes him. Because uh, he just doesn't like him. So, uh, And he always is throwing out like super chats talking shit about Destiny wherever he shows up. Oh, it, he knows that our, uh, Destiny argues really dishonestly. He knows how he plays his game. He knows what he did to Aiden, where he's trying to fucking get her to cease and desist on things that are demonstrable. Fuck yeah, the, 2018 is off to a hell of a start, man. I, I mean, it's it's been wild the last month and a half to two months with just all the shit that's going on. It's fucking weird. I I didn't think I would ever be in a YouTube sphere. I thought I'd be talking to my 30 fucking people for years, you know, like everybody else does. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, I mean, just just do the shit you like. Uh, I think that's why the show works is you're doing what you you feel like doing. I just I I didn't ex I I don't I don't really know how to react to it and stuff. So you you probably shouldn't probably play into the uh, the family. I'll, I'll probably I won't be saying anything else about that. Cause you're right. No, no, yeah, no. I'm just yeah. That's 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 basic shit, man. I, the right. more you react, the more they're gonna ride you. Anything you show weakness towards, they're gonna attack. Absolutely. If you if you say this bothers me, they're gonna be like, "Oh, that's what we're gonna do to fuck with them." That was that was pretty fucking basic. I don't. Know, I just there was there was with all the like people show me like screen caps and everything. Like I'm looking through like ninety things at a time. Even with the Twitter gone, now everybody's bombing the shit out of fucking my Discord, trying to tell me different things. And hey, I found this. Hey, I found this. And Vamp's getting things in archive because their story, like it's mad obvious how it went down. Like it, they made it really obvious by like Zeph being too stupid to not give it away like two days earlier. Yeah, I mean, if you can if you can verify it's legitimate through like an archive or something like that, that that's fine. But yeah, you're gonna get a bunch of people that are gonna intentionally feed you false information to get you to talk about it and make an ass of yourself. That's gonna be the goal. The all right, Vamp, who's giving you? Who gave you the first archive stuff? Like, that's a great point. Like, Vam's dealing with most of it. Yeah, I mean, all you gotta do is just look at the account. Who's it following? How old is it? What is it like? Uh, is it related to any other fucking account that is related to somebody that wants to fuck with you? Just just basic look into what you're getting is all you gotta do. Yeah. It's the fucking... You're involved in internet wars, Tonka. <laughs> Apparently. Like, I'm I'm not good at internet wars. Yeah, it, a... it'll it'll eventually Stop. fade. I, it'll, it'll be hot for about a month, and then people will move on to something else. You just got to ride it out. Yeah. That's, that's what I, I'm going to try. It. I'm going to try it. It's just fucking like, I don't know. What what would I even have if I did fucking get like anything archived? I would just be like, it's definitively them. I'm not well, sure. No, like, you, you, you'd have it for yourself. And then if you ever needed to bring it up, you could be like, no, I mean, this is what happened. Here's the fucking archive of that conversation, which links to this, which is archived, which links to this, which is archived. So it's not my speculation. It's right there. You can look at it. Well, Vadim saw the uh, IMDb archives earlier, and he's like, oh. And had to admit that he was wrong finally. But then he wants to turn him by the end of the stream, and he's just still being smug and full of shit. Yeah, Vadim looks like he has a personal gripe with you. I'm sure the creationist cat thing didn't help, and I'm sure uh, our <laughs> cremation cat. And uh, he, it sounds like he's he's a little pissed off. He feels like he got dogpiled on, so he's trying to rub it back in your face. That, that's all there is to it. I mean, that's what that is. That's, that is the Vadim game, but these are the uh, these are the good guys. This is their thing. No, That's just what bothers me about it. Just pretending to be the good guys. He, that he, year, uh, you're gonna get a ton of people fucking with you like that. Yeah. He, he tried to throw me under the bus, and then he's like, "Why? Why do you talk? Why do you talk to me like that, Fairly? Why, why do you talk?" Yeah, it, it, the internet is stock full of fags. You know, you're gonna have all sorts of people trying to fuck with you for all sorts of stupid fucking reasons. Just yeah. ride it out and do what you want to do. He'll be fine. 
I, I just I just wanted to binge watch Star Trek episodes. Well, let's just do it. Do it then. Bin, binge watch some Star Trek. Yeah, you should. I, I couldn't because somebody put on alien porn on Cog's channel and he got a strike, so now he can't stream anymore. Then the can stream happened. So he's uh, he's got to wait three months for that shit, huh? Yeah. yeah. The Destiny fans started going at fucking pretty much all the other people around me too. The Cog, fucking anybody who's streaming around me. Oh did. no, yeah, that's that's gonna be the the yeah, because they don't have your name yet. When they have your name, they're gonna hit your neighbors, your work, your family. So you know, I I just preempt it and just get shit set up to have something to deal with that ahead of time. Yeah, I went ahead and uh, like I called all kinds of cop people. From every like from yeah, just be like, hey, if you get a call, say there's a hostage situation. I'm not insane. It, it's just yeah. bullshit internet stuff. <sighs> the internet's so fucking dumb. Yeah, and then I'd hit any delivery place within ten miles of you, or That's your what family. I gotta get to. Yeah, yeah. I got to get to uh, the uh, restaurants and stuff. You brought that up earlier. You're right. I got the uh, law enforcement. I, I, I guess it depends on how much they want to fuck with you. I mean. The other things they might do are put up uh, sex worker ads for you up on Craigslist, back pages and shit like that. You might get uh, hundreds of boxes and a bunch of Korans and uh, people coming over to tell you about the word of uh, the Mormon church and shit like that. <laughs> I've done that one. Yeah, there, there's a lot of stuff like that that it might get sent your way. But uh, that's relatively harmless. It's, you know, it's the delivery shit where you're getting charged money or the cops busting your door down to shoot you. That's, that's the kind of harsh shit. Yeah, innocuous shits. What the fuck? It, it happens. The fucking you know, people are gonna be goofy. It's the well, like even like the fucking bunch of food delivery. That's gonna be irritating, and it's gonna cost a little bit, but not a big deal. It's the fucking it's that SWAT shit, and it like it bothered because of that fucking story where they went to the wrong fucking house and killed people who didn't even know what the fuck was going on. Well, it's pets too. That, that's the one thing people forget is uh, you know usually when the SWAT team kicks open a door and they've got a dog barking at them, they're just gonna shoot it to neutralize it. Little dog, yeah. That would yeah. that would be another thing. Oh, I'd fucking lose it. But I, I think I think the majority of law enforcement are aware of the swatting shit. So yeah, if you call up the precinct and like, hey, this is a deal, uh, I think for the most part they'll be like, yeah, we get it. It's cool. That that's uh that's the vibe that I got. Like it almost seemed like they were like reading off some form that they were like check marking shit off. Uh, another one of these. They probably thought you were a video gamer. Probably one of these fucking Twitch people. They kept saying Twitch, so you might be right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, they probably have like just a form that they they have for this kind of shit where you put in a little database gimmick. They yeah. they gotta they gotta. Uh, in in Miami, a big one is the celebrities like Little Wayne's fucking mansion got swatted uh, a few years ago. Uh, basically, things like that. I think at the time, the only person at home was his maid. <laughs> Did, did oh, you know what? Uh, you know what else you might want to do? Hmm? Uh, oh, fuck. Uh, I think White Pages. Uh, you can contact them because they don't know your name yet. So you might want to check White Pages out, see if your name and address I've and number are listed. I've already done that for him. Okay. Hey, yeah, and remove right. it. I went through and did his uh, immediate family members as well. Yep, that, that's a good one. Um, my family members out. aren't connected to me, whatever, whatsoever. Mm -hmm. Uh, real quick, uh, I'll type. Well, fuck it. I'll just say it. Uh, if you can, uh, try to. Well, no, nah, that's a. I won't do that. I was gonna say to take uh one of my businesses off of there too, but I nah, don't worry about that. They that can't be linked. Just the the way that the names work, it it, it won't yeah. work. It doesn't connect. Yeah. It's just the shit like uh, who who was it? Geek Fulu got fucked with on Twitter. And that, that that doesn't really matter, but how I fucked him over was he has, uh, you know, a business, and it ended up he ended up getting IP an IP band, so it affected his fucking other business. So people people will fucking always try to fucking find ways to fuck with you. And, oof. Oh, he's got a fuck live stream business. channel now. Yeah, fucking with your business is a, is a good way to get you fucking... Yeah, you're, they'll, you're, they'll, they'll, they'll try to get you fired, but if they can't get you fired, they'll try to they'll try to like slander you or whatever. Yeah, where get them fired, he owns it. <laughs> so I'm not giving them anything else. I want to let them keep going down a rabbit hole so I can yeah. have time to get most of this stuff in line. But yeah, I'm my employer. Mm -hmm. There's only one thing that they can do to bother me, and it's going to take them a minute to get there. Well, yeah, uh, but I mean, if you have businesses, uh, be prepared to deal with like Yelp reviews, Google reviews. 
Oh yeah. Uh, they'll they're gonna uh, hit that shit. What I do, like, dude, I sell fucking like I it's a car lot and I sell cars like to people like it during tax time, people just come and get fucking cars and shit. I just buy cars from fucking auctions and resell them. Oh yeah, yeah. No, but what what I'm saying is you're gonna get reviews like, yeah, well, not a lot to buy a car, but uh they're too busy selling cocaine for for to do business with me. Or uh um, the engine exploded on me as I was driving down the highway, that kind of shit. Oh uh, well. Wow. It might, it might look bad, I, I, then, I, but like, I, most of my people are local people who don't even do the internet. I feel like they don't do the internet, but that's what I would have thought before. I don't know. I'm I, not I know with the, sure. I know with Yelp you can pay uh, if you're a business. It's like a small fee, and then you're in charge of your own reviews. It's like a hustle by Yelp, basically. Uh, Yelp. Google reviews, I couldn't tell you what they do because I, I, I don't. I, I, I'm not running a business, but that is a hell of a hustle they've running. got going on there. Oh yeah, I, no, they I make they to, make a good amount of money I, with that. I used, to, I used to be big into fucking Yelp and like I would fucking get invited to all the little fucking parties in Miami and shit. But it, it always like it started to feel like a fucking shakedown like of the local vendors because they they would have them like come to the events and give out fucking shit for free. And uh yeah, 